Hello? Beep bop boop. Beep the bop beep bop skip bop did boop bop. Welcome to the stream, everybody. Let me ping the Discord here, and then we will get started. I'm actually, I can't believe we've been actually doing like a chapter a day right now. Beginning of the game went pretty slow. Because <laughs> we were doing all the sub stories, but now we're actually just flying through the chapters because there's nothing else. Oh, feels weird. All right, chapter eight. Here you time. Okay. Bada bing, bada boom, and done. Hi, everybody. How is everyone feeling today? Welcome to the stream. Sorry I am late as well. My nose is kind of exploding this morning and I'm not sure why. <clears throat> there we go. Hello! Oh, you know how it is. <laughs> This week is actually pretty chill. Oh, you know what? Today is, guys. Today is Dom's birthday. I don't know why. Like, of course I know it's his birthday. I told it to him like a million times so far today, but I almost forgot to tell the chat that, which is very important. You guys need to know that it's Dom's birthday today. <clears throat> yeah, hopefully we get a lot of stuff done. I really Hi, Chris. hope so. I'm at work when working in your street. Hope you are having a good week. Hi, Thank friends. Thank you so much, Leon. I really appreciate it. I am having a good week. Yesterday was actually really baller. Um, yeah, just a lot of uh, stress relief yesterday <laughs> happened. So I'm very, I'm very excited about it. Aw, uh, thank you guys. I'll make sure to send him all the, the happy birthday messages. I'll probably send him a little video of all your messages popping up in the chat. Because it's cute. <laughs> thank you guys. He'll really appreciate that. Dom is, of course, every time it's his birthday, I have to give him like a like a 20 minute speech on why aging is fine. <laughs> He's like, but I'm old now. I just turned 40. I'm old. Oh my god. I'm like, oh my god, you're fine. <laughs> you're still so young. <laughs> Y'all are so sweet. I hope you guys are all doing well, though. Good morning, Yakuzal gamers. Happy birthday to Don High Pay. Happy birthday. Oh. Thank you, Dynasty. Thank you for the 15 month tier three sub. I appreciate it. That actually reminds me that I really, oh, oops, I forgot to. Um... There we are. Hi, I'm here, I promise. Uh, I forgot that I wanted to check on the Partner Plus. We need to push Partner Plus this month. So uh, that, yeah, I'm really bad at pushing for subs, but let me see how far we are away from actually getting Partner Plus. I have no idea. I have not a clue. I actually don't even know where to find that information. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I don't even know where to find that. I, I, I'm gonna, I, I have no idea. I'm just going through every tab because Twitch is fucking awful. Maybe this button? No, it's not. You would think a button that's called partner would tell you that, but no, it's it's not there. We're so close. We are close. I think it was like 10 more subs that we needed actually, so. But we need to get it by the end of every month. <clears throat> Agbordo, thank you so much for the 13 month prime sub. I appreciate it. <clears throat> You're watching my Persona 2 playthrough. Hell yes. I'm glad for base Persona 2 enjoyer. I love that game. I hope that it gets ported one day so other people can experience it. Not like a full remake. I don't want a remake of Persona 2. On Like, Persona 2 is good, but I don't think it's, like, fantastic enough to warrant a remake. <clears throat> but yeah. Will I be playing this weekend? Playing what? <clears throat> oh, they're absolutely gonna remake Persona 4. Are you kidding me? Especially after the success of Persona 3, are you kidding me? 
After Persona 3? Oh my gosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna remake Persona 4. That's not even, like, a fucking question. <laughs> it's just a matter of when. Which, I mean, before Persona 3 came out, I did already say that. Like, it, it is only just a matter of time before Persona 4 gets remade. Hmm. <clears throat> Can't wait for the discourse, oh my god. Yeah, I'll just like cease to exist on Twitter at that point. <laughs> uh people are so dumb. I've had I've had like uh what kinda sucks is like I wanna talk more sometimes about Persona 4, but people get so fucking mad about that game in particular that it's just not even worth it. Hmm. I spread the rumor for a Persona 3 remake last time. I did do that, yeah. They were already developing it. But yeah. Hmm. Well, yeah. Persona 4 fans are, uh, I mean, I love Persona 4, don't get me wrong, but yeah, people love to bitch about Persona 4, like, once a week, and I'm like, how do you guys have enough energy for this? Please get off the internet. <laughs> Please go talk to people outside. That's, just, that's, that's basically all I gotta say to that. <laughs> Out of the basement. No, Persona 2 is in the basement. Persona 1 too, I guess. But ugh. I'm still trying to find where the partner plus information is, by the way. I think I've gone through every tab on the back end of my Twitch, and I literally cannot find it anywhere. This is such a great UI. God, Twitch, I love you so much. buried under the foundation. Well, to be fair, I think that Persona 1 would be a great anime, actually. I think it'd be a really good anime, especially if you base it off the manga. Um, like, it's a good game, too, kind of. But, uh, I don't think it aged very well, personally. But the story, I do think, is actually anime-worthy. Hmm. <clears throat> You want to start to play the Persona games with what games should I start? Honestly, Persona 3 just came out. <laughs> start there. That's totally fine. I always say with the Persona, whatever game you have access to, play it. That's It's as simple as that. There's no good entry or starting point. They're all the same. Just whatever one strikes your fancy, like watch the trailer for Persona 3, 4, 5, and then if one looks more interesting than the other to you, then play that one. It's that simple. <clears throat> Hello, Fonfona, welcome. Yes, we're going to be going back to Kiryu today. So I, I don't have much, like, non-plot things to do. So it's going to be plot, chapter 8 plot today, which is, it'll be a time. <laughs> I am still trying to find partner plot. Oh, share, oh, I found a thing. Share your partner plus progress. Oh, how do I do that? Ah, shit, dude, let's go. What? How do I share with the community? Share. I hit a magical button, but I don't know what it did. I have no idea what the fuck it did, but I clicked the button. You can see the tab below the stream. Oh, okay. Well. <laughs> I clicked a button, but I don't know if it actually worked. You guys will have to tell me if it actually worked. <clears throat> uh, 
<laughs> Honestly, I mean, it's whatever. Fandom wars are gonna happen no matter literally whatever fandom you are a part of. That is like a unavoidable thing in any community. <laughs> so, it, it is what it is. Persona is no different than like, I don't know, literally any, name any franchise, they all have them. There, there, there is no difference. The only thing that, the only reason I bring it up is because Persona 4 is definitely a very different crowd than Persona 3 and 5. And then Persona 1, 2 crowd is its own crowd. So like there are different, there are different factions between each game and it is very exhausting. I'm just too old for this shit, man. I just don't give a fuck. I just put my opinions out on the internet. Most of them are bad and I just don't care. <laughs> <clears throat> Exactly, Twitter fandom is always shit no matter which media is about. Yeah, it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's how that works in life. It's just how life is. I'm glad I found the partner plus thing. All right, so I clicked a button. I don't join any fandoms. Yeah, like I'm a fan of stuff, but I usually just don't dive into fandoms because eh, maybe I'm just getting too old for this shit. Hmm. Oh, JoJo fandom is hilarious to me. I'm not gonna lie. I think the JoJo fans are pretty based. I will not watch JoJo. I tried to watch it. I couldn't get into it, but holy hell, I, I gotta respect the memes that come out of it, and the fandom is pretty actually hilarious. Or at least all of my interactions have been, like, pretty hilarious. I can't, like, I'm a, I'm a memer, so, like, I, I like that crowd. <clears throat> Even though I don't watch it and probably won't. Like, what did I say? I got up to, like, season three or something, or season four of JoJo. Like, I tried to watch it for a while, and I just got bored, because it was all the same thing over and over again. I mean, it was, like, ridiculous and stuff, but, like, the the formula for how the show went doesn't change for, like, four seasons, so I was like, uh, okay, this is very repetitive. So I just stopped after that. I don't remember what the last plot point I stopped at. But yeah, it was just bored. This is a long playthrough. Yeah, I am absolutely taking my time with playing Infinite Wealth. <laughs> I I love Yakuza so much. I don't want to rush playing this game. I know that a lot of RPGs are coming out right now. And my ass is like, well, I can play them afterwards. Like, I lose out on a lot of opportunity, not gonna lie. I lose out on a lot by not playing some of these games on time. But, whatever. <laughs> I, 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 whatever, it's, it's whatever. It's very much a battle shown, and if you don't like the battles, then there's not much more to it. Yeah, it just kept on getting like, um, you know, when Protag is down, it gets more and more ridiculous, and then I'm like, oh my god. And the ridiculousness, I'm not gonna lie, is very entertaining. But it was entertaining after like the first two times. And then after the second time, and then I see it repetitive for the third time, and then the fourth time, and then the fifth time, I'm like, okay. I think I'm, think I'm done here. <clears throat> yeah? You kept watching? Dom said he really liked the season after we stopped, I think. Uh, he said where they were, like, traveling the world or something, something. Oh, also, my, uh, a lot of people in chat said happy birthday earlier. <laughs> you can do whatever you want. It's your birthday. He's like, I want to make breakfast potatoes. <laughs> birthday! If you want breakfast potatoes, you get breakfast potatoes. That's right. 
He did this like cute little jump like yeah. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, I, I think about that all the time. Like, when it comes to RPGs, it's not like... I don't know, it's not like an FPS game where playing it day one... Playing it day one is fine, but continuing to go really hard and do, like, 10-hour streams of an RPG just lessens your viewership over time. Well, it's gonna do that naturally regardless, but you're cutting off a lot of people that don't want to be spoiled. And in an RPG, it's really hard to find that balance of, like, how to stream it. And right now I'm really pleased because I'm taking Yakuza so slow right now that I feel like most people are ahead of me, if not most of you are already done with this game and playing Persona 3. Uh, so yeah, me taking this game slow I think is working in my favor. And then we're gonna play Persona 3 in like mid-April. We'll see how that goes. Of course I know about Nico B. Of course, good old Nico. We chat, we chat. He's a cool dude. <clears throat> Tion says he wants breakfast potatoes too. Okay. Huh? How do you feel about Cindy being part of the crew now, Chris Hall? Oh, she's back. I'm just excited because if she's back, I don't really, like, I like her, but I'm more excited about the prospect of the other characters coming back more so. If she's there, that means that there's a possibility of Joomi Hong, Zhao, um, Majima, Saejima, Akiyama, possibly. I am excited. I, I, I like how I'm getting myself psyched up for a possible Akiyama um, appearance, but I think that I am just huffing so much copium to the point that whenever I finish this game, I'm just gonna be disappointed. It's gonna be the same as Gaiden. Oh look, I played an entire Yakuza game and there was no Akiyama. This game is dead to me. Everything let it, yeah, yeah, I did plan that, yes. <laughs> Forgetting Psycho? I mean, Psycho hates everything. Um, she might come back into the party. I don't know what to think about her, honestly. Who knows? Who knows? Gaiden was, Gaiden was terrible. I gave it a rating of 2 out of 10 because it didn't have Akiyama. Oh, and where's Date? Where the fuck is Date, huh? Date, Akiyama, where, where are these two bros at? Come on. You know what I want to do? I don't know if you guys mind. Maybe you do mind. I'm gonna try to find it. Date is in another game series? Oh my god. I'm, uh, sir, I'm gonna have to cancel you. Okay, uh, there's a part of me that really, that right now, wants to go back and watch the ending of Yakuza 6 because I am pathetic and I miss Akiyama and Date so much. I miss them a lot. So, what if I just like went back to my Yakuza 6 playthrough? Is that like illegal? The very end of it, you know? All right, gamers, you right. Oh my God, I found my VOD two years ago. Let's get depressed. Well, I'm not gonna watch the Kiryu side of things. I just wanna watch that, you know that one scene at the bar at the end of Yakuza 6 with Date and Akiyama. And that is the last time we see these motherfuckers. Alright, 
days. It is so infuriating. <laughs> Oh, I found it. I found it. Yes! This is the scene I was looking for. Mm, the ending of Yakuza 6. If you don't want spoilers, I guess. But I'm imagining that no one really cares. <laughs> what about you? No, you're fine. You've never played a Yakuza game! Sounds like, what about me? <laughs> Hold on, gotta mute the game. Oh, God, I'm crying. All right, hold up. Hold up a minute. Hello, Mr. Slav. Welcome, welcome. All right. This is my own playthrough. I just want to watch the ending. Oh, God, I'm in tears. Fuck you. <laughs> I don't know why I'm crying, but I don't want to know. This is the last time we see them. ご挨拶をと思いまして。ああ。聞いたよ。おめでとう。それで、キリュウさんのことですけど。伊達さんは本当にあの人の遺体を間違いなく確認したんですか。No, he's not. And that's it. I won't. Oh, wait, does it. Oh, wait, no, okay, this is just like. Okay, that scene makes me cry. That's a, that's a, that's a, that's a tearjerker. <laughs> We're gonna skip right through that. Imagine having to be Date in this moment and you had to lie through your teeth. Date, are you being a bitch? Be sad. Be sad. Are you being a little bitch? Akiyama's too smart for this shit. For your shit. Mm hmm mm hmm And then Akiyama leaves, and then that's- that's the end of that. Okay, we're just not gonna- we're not gonna watch any more of that. And that's the last time we see those two. Isn't that just, like, sad? Isn't that just, like, depressing? I know Akiyama never bought it, but you know who else never bought it? You know, the rest of the world. No one believed he was dead. So Date held this secret, and he's like, Welp, I guess everyone knows. And then we just never hear from this clown, Date and Akiyama ever again. So awkward. We're getting robbed here? I know we're getting robbed! Anyway, I need to go huff more copium by playing this game. Yeah, I'm gonna play this game and we're gonna see Akiyama. Yeah, one day we're gonna see this man. <laughs> uh. Why does this have more playtime? Did I just stand in place for like ever? Like, what's going on? Wait, what's... Oh, oh, no, no, no. Okay, no, this is mine. Okay. Date was mentioned, yes, he's Adachi's friend, but that's literally it. That is not Date being in seven, in my opinion. Oh, there's a safe down there. Look at that. How do I get down there? Oh, I just take the fucking ladder. Wow, that was a really tough one, Crystal. Should I open it? Nice. The only thing I did off stream, um, oh! I did the can quest. I already completed that minigame. Um, and then besides that, wait, 
Somebody. Oh, pfft, that was hey. pathetic, Kiryu. Um, what else did I do? I got music. I got all the music that I possibly could in Yokohama. Okay, so we listened to Segwaves 6. We have to listen to Segwaves 7. Wait, there's not a Segwaves 8? I feel duped. Anyway, so guess what we have now? We have Persona 5 music. We have Super Monkey Ball music. I have Persona 4 music. And I have Shin Megami Tensei 5 music. I got all of the music. I was so excited to get this music, guys. I was so excited. I used to come by here to fish a lot. Custom was to share your catch or trade with the other homeless. Was this a good spot? I like fishing too. I even used to take a boat out for spear fishing. Whoa, that's hard. That's right, Kiryu, that's I right. I bet you were good at it. Although I did get into it with a giant octopus once. That was a difficult fight. We both had a lot of pride at stake. <laughs> Kiryu san, do you have one story that ends normally? No. All right. <laughs> Kiryu has no normal I've really stories, to know them. bro. Why is he caked up when going up a ladder? I didn't look at his ass. Huh. I should stop by when I get I didn't look at his ass going up a ladder. You think I need to? Shogi when we're free? Maybe. All right, I'll look. I like Shogi. It sharpens the mind. After playing it for a while, I feel my thoughts become clearer. I didn't know it had that sort of effect on you. Sure. It gives me time to have a conversation with myself. Did I turn off the gas when I left? Crap. What about the energy bill? It's a nice ass. I get through my whole itinerary. Sounds useful for sorting out errands. Although I get the feeling you lose most of your games. <laughs> Things are going well. Yikes! Our Why is he roasting deeper. Namba? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Bro. <clears> hmm. <throat> he was always caked, this is true. I feel like um, I really started to know the notice the cake. Hey, uh, what? Uh, is six? Perhaps six? Yeah, here. Dragon Dumpy. Nah, no problem. What's all that in your wallet? Don't tell me. Is that a stack of 10k notes? Are you kidding? Nah, uh, these are all receipts. I saved them to file in my household accounts book. Good for you. It takes diligence to manage money like that. Yeah, you're right. That's why they're all still in here and not filed. My accounts book is as blank as when I bought the damn thing. Well, at least you still have the receipt for it. All right. <laughs> what? That's such like a dad comment to make. All right, are we gonna be able to get this without triggering the enemy? Running yeah. around okay. town like this together is a great way to make up for my lack of exercise. You don't usually exercise, Sunhi? What? Well, I keep up with training so that I don't get rusty, of course. But as the head of an organization, I spent a lot of time sitting How is she good at that good in combat desk. if you don't train? What? Even the leader of Komijul can't escape desk work. She doesn't exercise? That's exactly why I try to find moments to exercise during everyday activities. Taking advantage of those early morning radio exercises fosters a nice disciplined life. Hmm. That is very disciplined. Good on you for waking up so early. Well, when I sleep in, I just use a recording and work out in the afternoon. Uh, what about that is disciplined? Things are going well. <laughs> you were a nurse one. That's right, Namba. Getting certified must have been difficult. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Clinical training, cramming for exams, the works. I go to bookstores like this and walk out with piles of textbooks. That's admirable. I can tell you were dead. Why does this guy look so fishy? Thing is, I'd buy just as much manga. That'd uh, slow me down a little. Still, ask me anything about manga from that period. I'm an expert. I suppose that's another kind of dedication. I didn't know that Namba read All manga. Right. I've really gotten to know them. He never
never mentioned that, I think, in 7. I don't remember that. Also, what the hell is wrong with you? Game-loving man. Why, why does he stand like that? <laughs> yes, I love video games. Let me just stand completely hunched over. I don't understand. Oh, I need a massage. Lower back's killing me. The deep, unforgiving shiatsu. It works best if it hurts. Unforgiving, huh? I could give you a massage. I've never done it before, but I know how to apply pressure. Kiryu's never given uh, a massage. He's gonna break his that's back. A massage I might not recover from. All right. Well, offers out there. Things are going yeah, well. Yeah, Kiryu. I don't trust Kiryu to give me a massage. I would love it though. Like, if I'm gonna die, like if my back is gonna break in any way, that would be the way to go. A sushi out. place. Conveyor belt sushi is pretty good once in a while. What's your favorite sushi, Sunny? It depends, but usually salmon. Like, it's not particularly oily, and it's even a little sweet. Salmon's a solid choice. What would be your second Salmon, favorite? salmon's pretty mm, good. Seared salmon. Not <laughs> sure that counts as different. All right. Yes, seared salmon. Clearly a lot different. Our bond's getting deeper. Namba, would you say you're a strong drinker? No, nah, probably not. My face doesn't go red. Some people assume I am. But I do get sleepy. That's a problem on the train back. How so? Half the time, I'd pass out and wake up at the last station. Back in the day, I just gave in and bought an unlimited pass. I guess there's wisdom in that. Things are going well. <laughs> I swear to god this game is so dumb. And I love every second of it like a goddamn fucking idiot. Oh, wow. Okay. I am getting way too many conversations. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Like do do I get all of them or do it? You know, we should do some plot. All right. The store's best seller is actually I'm I'm on my way. Book. You cook at all, Sunhee? Yeah, I do well enough for myself. But apparently, whatever I make always ends up really spicy. Each time I cook for my guys, every one of their faces ends up as red as a hot pepper. What? Then why not ask Jungi to taste test it first? Doesn't work. He always tries to spare my feelings by saying that it's good. Oh, mm. Jungi's too good to for this world. Towards you, he dooms everyone else. In that case, why don't I give it a shot? But I won't hold back on my opinion. Here you saw tasting my cooking. <gasps> Almost sounds like we're dating for real. Sorry. What? So, I uh, just realized that I need to grab this bestseller and hurry home. Mm -hmm. All right. <laughs> Sunny is so based. <laughs> Incredibly based. Oh my god, he's gonna try my cooking. We're practically dating. <laughs> I'd like to board a train. No destination zone. I mean, do you blame no her for being down bad? Like, bro, we're fun. all down bad Wanna for you. We always Wanna have been. In? Sure. Where should we go? Wait, I thought the point was to have no destination. Uh, right. Oi, <laughs> Maybe I'm just more comfortable with directions. Nothing wrong with that. It's part of your character. Decide where you're going and take your time getting everyone there. I can do that. One thing, though. You're coming with us, Kiryu. Ooh. Things are going well. That sounded like a threat, really like you're coming nothing. with us, Kiryu. Okay, bro. What the fuck? What's going on? Whoa, that just scared the ever living fuck out of me. Hello? What the fuck is this car?
looks like a boss battle. It is kind of. Wait, no, no, no! No, I gotta leave. I gotta go. Otaku, Otaku on arms. Oh my god, I need to leave. I need to leave. Get me out. Oh my god, Kiryu's fucking dead. Bro? What do you do on your days off? Curious? Well, actually, it feels like I'm always on the clock, but... <sighs> but... You know, lately, when I can find the time, I've been watching martial arts matches. There's so much to learn while watching, like how to move your body and whatnot. It's impressive that you've been putting all that knowledge to work. It's just a hobby. But have you ever seen those pro wrestlers pull off their moves? It gives me chills. It's pretty addictive to watch. Pro wrestling, huh? Back in the day, I dabbled in that while trying to entertain the kids. I fought a match as a masked wrestler called Dragon Pass. That really takes me back. <laughs> no kidding. Hey, I remember huh. this school. Huh. Wait, did you just say Dragon Mask? Oh my god. All right. Dragon Mask. Here you son. I bet you'd make a good teacher. Really? You'd have a delinquent student who'd end up kidnapped. You'd find the warehouse he was held in, kick ass to rescue him. Oh, yeah. Temporary evacuation area. Oh, no, I didn't. I Sorry to drag my feet. Maybe next time. No luck. Oh, this is the worst. I feel so heavy. Now's our chance. Been thinking about this from last time. Here you son. I bet you'd make a good teacher. Really? Hmm. Oh, you'd have a delinquent man. student who'd end up kidnapped. You'd find the warehouse he was held in and kick ass to rescue him. It's you! Oh yeah, that's you to a T. So what you really mean is I'd make a good teacher in a teen drama. In a teen well. drama. <laughs> Thanks, Our bomb's Scott. getting deeper. <laughs> okay. I'm glad the conversation just kept going though. All right, where to after this? Okay. Never pass a school without thinking back to being a student. What was your favorite subject? Uh, it wasn't much for any of them, but I guess I enjoyed science. I like the liquid nitrogen experiments. What? You know, freezing bananas. I never did anything right. cool like that. Did you try to hammer a nail into yours, too? I did. The whole thing shattered on me. What? And then it started to melt, so it smelled like banana all day. Well, I guess it left a lasting impression. You're gonna get hit by a car. Oh. What kind of music are you into, Sunny? I don't stick to a single genre, so I'm into all kinds of things. 
Oh shit, okay, okay. She's into all Even kinds oldies. of things. I've been into pure love and comradeo lately. I'm a fan of that one too. You made ice cream with like a nitrogen How once? How about a duet sometime? There's, there's some shots here that do that. A duet with that. you, curious on. <laughs> it's cool. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Wait till I start voice lessons first. Wait, it's not like I'm asking you to debut as a singer. You really but... are a perfectionist, aren't you? Well, yeah, let's just go with that. All right. <laughs> Voice lessons, though. Okay, okay. I always order the same thing when I eat out. If I had to guess, I'd say I'm worried. All right, I'm on my way to plot. Choice. Understandable, but it's good to challenge yourself. I felt the urge to try something new recently, so I ordered something called Chef's Creative Caprice. Oh, oh. impressive, curious son. Sounds funky. How was it? It was so terrible I couldn't stop shaking for an hour. Won't go back. So, in other words, I was right to be afraid. Things are going well. Holy shit. I've really gotten to know them. All right. All right, so we're actually going to the batting cages. We're gonna we're gonna do some plot Complete. right now. Friends forever. Oh, that's so cute. Okay. We are we made it to the batting cages. You know what would be really very Yakuza coded? Seeing Majima here at the batting cages. Curious son. I feel like I've gotten to know you pretty well now. I suppose so. You're an interesting person, Nanba. <laughs> That's an honor coming from you. Hey, follow me. Well, there's a spot I'd like to show you. Sunrise Bridge. Lead the way. Cute. Okay. When I think of the batting cages, I think of Majima. It'd be really cool if he were just like here. Yeah, no. <sighs> Not a scratch. Found it. Picture perfect. What's this guy doing? Take my mind off things whenever I strike out with a different cabaret girl. At first, I couldn't hit even hit a 100 kilometer pitch. Now I can hit a 120 ball right in the sweet spot every time. Damn, okay. Wait, what was that about? At this rate, I'll be a pro ball player before I lose my virginity. It's okay, sweetie. Normal bat. I only have a normal bat. I should try expert. Just kidding. Nah, we're just gonna go beginner. All right, here goes. The good old bat. Just watch. I'll Wait, I don't know how to fly. play. <laughs> oh. Shit. <laughs> Shit. It tells you where to... Yeah. Oh. I hit it too Shit. Soon. I needed to wait. Yeah. Cool. Yes. A little too late. Shit. <laughs> Shit. Ha! Shit. Shit. <laughs> Not a dude. A triple is so good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Shit. All right, yeah. so we got half of them. Why are you so sad? You literally got five. But isn't that good? I would think that that's a good score. Mighty fine swing you got there, Kiryu-san. Real nice batting. How are you holding up so far? Uh, I'm good. 
Refreshed, actually. Feels like a lot of that stress is gone. You were right, Sunhi. Maybe this was all I needed. <laughs> you're kidding, right? No way you're satisfied with just that. Besides, we're only on our first stop here. Right. What's more, you're actually looking healthier by the minute. Whatever the reason is, it's great to see. I'm telling you, so, Kiryu's cancer is going to be cured agenda? just by Good punching it out of him. Why don't we grab a bite first and then think about it? Yeah, good idea. What are you in the mood for? Well, we could always eat and do karaoke. karaoke. Rumor says the dragon of Dojima is also a master of the mic. But I guess seeing is believing in the end. Now I wonder where you heard that. It's been ages since I've had a real audience. He says anyway, ages. It's been like a couple seeing days. Is believing. Maybe I should show you how it's done. <laughs> I would love that. Dude, Song He has absolutely stalked the ever living fuck out of Kiryu. Uh, she knows that up? he's like a really good karaoke singer. Mm. Kiryu san, you ever thought of making a bucket list? Bucket list? Hmm. Can't say I have. Well, with the way things are right now, I think you might want to consider it. I mean, you could be spending your final hours writing down your thoughts or divvying up your stuff. That's not the point. All right. Then what are you getting at? I need to take things more seriously? Well, the opposite, actually. I think it'd be best to leave things on the happiest note possible. And to do that, a memo of how to use your time wisely might help. Sounds nice enough, but wouldn't a will be more useful in the end? No, that's the beauty of the whole thing. No, a will is depressing. Unlike a bucket list, when you're writing a will, the reason you buckle down and do it is to tie up any loose ends before you go. Right, I get that. But with a bucket list, the focus is on the present. What am I doing now? Not what happens after I'm gone. That's what makes a Psychologist bucket list so Namba. different. As you think back over the years, a lot of When did Namba turn there. into a therapist? <laughs> Missed opportunities, forgotten plans, hidden desires. So you make a list of what you want to do. And then, you put yourself out there and do it. I think I get the picture. It's like putting your heart's desires on paper to help you reach catharsis. That's exactly what it is. Now, Kiryu-san, I think you ought to take some of advice. You really should be spending more time on yourself. Especially if you don't know how long you've got left. <clears throat> if you don't want to go through any treatment, respect that it's your body you do what you want with it but if you don't want to spend your last days in abject misery i suggest you start making a better environment for yourself nanba you look so much more alive right now and all it took was working up a good sweat you might not want to hear this but you don't have to hold yourself back i'm sure there's a ton of things you'd rather be doing fun things to put those thoughts into words and then into action, it's never a waste of time. In fact, I think it's the best way to help you reach your best condition. Heck, as a former nurse, I guarantee it. All right, maybe that is what's best. And with how you put it, the bucket list doesn't sound so bad. Just make sure you help me see it through, since you're the one roping me into it. Oh, you bet I will. But how about we get started? Hmm. So I get all of our bond levels up to like 100 for everybody, for all of Kiryu's friends. And then the power of friendship in anime will cure him. That's about all I can think of for now. Hey, looking good. You got quite a bit on there. Let's see. I go on a date with Majima should be on there. Right on, right on. Drink all the best alcohol there is. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna say you probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Stuffed myself with Tamago at Sushi Gin. Oh, a tough guy like you loves egg, huh? <laughs> I know it might seem crazy coming from me. But, for once, I want to eat what I want, without looking over my shoulder. 
Well said, Kiryu-san. That's what this is about. Things you always wished you'd done different, or never got to try in the first place. Everything and anything that comes to mind, now's your chance to do it. Eh, let's see what else you got here. Try out what's popular with the kids, starting with sweets. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you said whatever comes to mind. Sorry, it's just that last bit caught me a little off guard. Yeah, I shouldn't be laughing. I, I really wasn't trying to make fun of you. In fact, that kind of got my heart pumping. <laughs> you sure about that? Listen, this really is good, though. <sighs> I knew it'd be worth a shot. Let's say we get more people add to the fun. Oh, I know just the gal we need. <laughs> yeah? curious on how would you like to visit a cabaret club i didn't see that anywhere on your list you not like them or something there's a lot you don't know about me i was just about to write that down <laughs> and it's settled hey sunny you okay to go <laughs> you do know women look at other women too i'd be there in a heartbeat all right then let's get over there Soul? There's a soul? Get, wait, what? The bucket list has been added to Kiryu's main menu. Kiryu's awakening can be checked there. Kiryu's awakening? Awaken Kiryu's soul, tech, and body by checking off items on his bucket list. Oh my god, this game is so fucking depressing. The concept of this is actually kind of fucked up. <laughs> like, actually, this is terrible. Addressing Kiryu's unfinished business while there's still time will help restore his will to fight. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! This is awful. You're not tired, are you? It's retroactive? Yeah, I'm really glad that it's retroactive. past never leaves you. Sometimes nostalgic sights can reignite memories of the past. The more Kiryu happens to see and remember, the further he awakes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh. Okay. And now I can go to Kamurocho. Yeah, bitch, I better be able to. Oh my god. I feel like this is going to be a giant, like, ah, kick in scratch. the gut. Each and every cabaret club is just as glamorous as the last. You can enjoy some quality drinks while spending time with pleasant company. No wonder some folks get hooked on them. 
but the customer can only have a good time because of all the blood, sweat, and tears that go on behind the scenes. Having dabbled in the management side of things, I've seen firsthand how much effort it takes. Now that I'm thinking back on it, I'm actually starting to miss that kind of work. I should ask Nama to join me sometime. Even though he'll make me promise not to drink. Otohime land, a soap land. Looks like it's closed now. Seeing one reminds me of the conversation I had with Haruka all those years ago. When she asked me what a soap land was, I had no idea how to answer. <laughs> when your kids ask you, like... Mom, hi, baby's maid. But that cheeky little girl probably knew it would get me flustered and asked anyway. She definitely had me on the ropes there. I wonder how she'd react if Haruto asked her that same ah, question. That takes me back. I actually hate this game. I actually hate infinite wealth and I think this is absolute dog shit. Home to the tastiest takoyaki in town. Looks like business is good. Every time I think of Octopus, the first thing that comes to mind is Onomichi. <laughs> By pure chance, I somehow ended up helping out the locals with spear fishing. I wound up having to fight sharks and other huge sea creatures, too. Sounds like something of a dream, but I swear I it did this. happen. Probably the last time I go spear fishing, at least for a while. Did it just say every now and then a shark appears in his nightmares? Kiryu, you are so fucked, kid. How do we do, Scott? I've got some more fight in me. Nothing beats stamina and honor and toughness, the perfect trifecta to get you through a brawl. Whenever there's a tough battle ahead, you've got to line your pockets. But their names are so confusing. Because of that, I always get them ah, mixed up. That takes me back. That's my only complaint, though. Whoever's in charge of marketing these things, I expect to see some improvements. <laughs> are they shitting on their own game? Picture perfect. Never thought that there'd be a vintage movie theater. Wait, I recognize this. Our winter sun. Oh my god. That's the Korean movie star I met in Kamurocho. It's been ages. Holy shit, I remember that sub story. When did all this. We did all sorts of things together running from his fans, showing him movies. I heard he left the limelight for some time, but it looks like he's made a comeback. This back Good for you, little Eugene. Here's hoping you stay successful. That's wild. This is really painful. <laughs> Good warm up. <sighs>
Inside is Sasaki and Clinic. The name Sasuke sticks with me for some reason. Maybe because of this weird dream. I can't forget. Oh my god, are they referring to Ishin? I don't know why, but in this dream, I was Miyamoto Musashi. And I lived under an alias working for merchants in the red lights district of the time. <laughs> Even though I was Miyamoto Musashi. I <laughs> Oh, Kenzon? Okay, but still, it's like a side game that they give reference to. Like, oh, I dreamed of this one time. I still had a duel against Sasuke, Kojiro, and one. At, le at least the dream was somewhat historically accurate in that regard. Just when I thought it was over, I had to fight off these guys in demon masks right after. Dreams sure are weird. But it all felt so livid. Emotions still linger in my mind. Perhaps this is a memory from a past life. It feels like just yesterday. <laughs> from a past life. For some reason, Haruka was also there. It left a strange impression on me. <laughs> Holy shit. Yokohama's a bus in town in its own right, but it doesn't have the same glitz and glamour as Kamurocho. Come to think of it, the Snake Flower Triad also had a hideout here. I, loved, I lived here with Haruka before we moved to Okinawa, too. Even though it's been a while since I last visited, this place is as amazing as I remember. I still can't here. measure up against Kamurocho. Look, a taxi. <laughs> I can't. I gotta resist. But the urge to That's check the car's interior thing. for cleanliness and its exterior for body damage is too That's strong. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. <laughs> Guess work habits are hard to break, even though it's been ages since I last drove a taxi. My Taiji Suzuki. <laughs> Oh, whoa, two subs in a row! Ceiling D, thank you so much for the tier one sub, I really appreciate it. And, uh, Mailon, thank you so much for the Prime. Thank you guys, I appreciate it. I lived in Fukuoka for some time under an alias, working as a taxi driver. I'd rather not think back on those bleak, dreary days. I don't regret any of my past decisions, though. But what I'll always remember is the warmth the people at Nagasu's taxi showed me. They have saved me more times than I can count. That reminds me, the food stalls Chief Nakajima took me to had a really good food. If you're planning a cross-country trip, don't skip out on Nagasuge. It's like a great town, yesterday. but still no match for Kamurocho. Good old Taichi Suzuki. <laughs> I like how he looks at a taxi and he's like, hmm. <laughs> we have some memories. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm trying really hard to keep myself put together here. I can't put my finger on what it is, but this building doesn't seem very Japanese. It looks more like something I'd see overseas. Yumi would probably like this sort of thing. One time she said that the best place to hold a wedding ceremony would be Hawaii. If only I could have made that happen for her. Anawa must have pulled some strings and sent me on a mission to Hawaii out of concern. But I should be grateful. Thanks to him, I finally got some of the closure I needed. By bringing her ring with me, I felt like I was taking her to the place that she's always dreamed of myself. I wonder if she'd be shocked by how foolish I've this been. This brings back memories. Or maybe she'd be pleased? Or at least I would hope so.
Bring it on. Here we go. Get It's over. Take this. Let's do it. I hate this reminiscing thing a lot. Oh my god, <laughs> what a way to kill somebody. Follow my lead. You wanna wave hi to your fan? You picked the wrong opponent. But it's your birthday. <laughs> Learning more every day. <sighs> Moving up in the hell yeah. Whew. We should relish this moment. Anywho. Oof, this is really rough. This is this is really, 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 really rough. Nope. So far. Can I please go play soccer? I promise I'll be better this time. Heartwarming sight, that is. I wonder if Haruto will grow up like that. Something like a grandson to me. Guess that makes me a grandpa. <laughs> Never thought I'd be able to, to be able to see the faces of my grandchildren before I die. If only Lady Luck was on my side. Now I'm stand heh, <laughs> now I'm starting to feel sorry for myself. I'd do anything to see how hard to his future. This brings holds. back memories. We humans sure are greedy. Oh my god, he thinks that's greedy. Oh, this is painful. better feeling than hitting a home run. <laughs> Shinada mentioned. I used to play ball at the Sandlot back in Onomichi. Oh, yeah. I even put together a whole team of folks back from the bar. Hitting a homer in a big open field with, was even more exhilarating than in the batting cages. This brings back memories. It'd be nice if I got to play baseball with everyone again. Hehe. 
here's my thought process. If I do all of these reminisce things now, I like, it's like ripping off the band-aid. You know, I just get it out of the way. And then I can like, just, you know, live my life after that. <laughs> I don't think I can slowly do this. I think I just have to go and do it all right now. Huh. Didn't think there'd be a cafe here. I'd like to order a shortcake to go with some strong black coffee. That'd make for a perfect pair. The sweetness of the cake balances out with the bitterness of the coffee. Two complementary flavor profiles. Date! But if we're talking about the best combination ever, I'd say it'd have to be Date-san and the helicopter. <laughs> Every time, I, every time I get involved in a crazy incident, Dante-san always, almost always shows up to bail me out in a helicopter. <laughs> Maybe that's why whenever I see Dante-san in a chopper, I double down and stand my ground. I remember this. Or maybe I've just been conditioned to think that way. <laughs> <laughs> Leave it to Dante, man. <laughs> I'm fine. Oh, are you? <laughs> oh, that was, I know, amazing train of thought, right? Oh. <sighs> The ocean. Saejima? Why are you thinking of Saejima? Sometimes, just sometimes, the ocean reminds me of Saejima. Why? Wonder why. Maybe it's because he's a man as big as the- What? <laughs> His heart just as vast? Or maybe it's because he washed up on the beach in front of my house. Oh, right. What was that, Yakuza 5? Four? That was four. He washed up at the beach of Okinawa. Right. Holy shit, that happened. I've never met anyone like him before. Guys like him usually end up dead. He's ridiculously tough, physically and mentally, but he never flaunts his strength. In fact, he's the quietest, most considerate person I've ever met. He really is one hell of this a man. Back Whenever I think of him, I start thinking I still got a long ways to go. That's what Kiryu thinks? Holy shit. A man of his stature could take over the entire country, but he chose to help Daigo with the Great Disillusion instead. He big boy. Saejima big boy. Saejima best wood carver in the east, man. Do I really have to fight these guys? There's no way around them. Well, let's get started. I won't hold back. It's really nice to hear Kiryu's thoughts, his own thoughts, but it's also equally depressing. His thoughts are extremely depressing. He really thinks so little of himself. And that, though, that kind of thought process is the thing that kills me the most when people think so little of themselves. Oof. Kills me. Follow my lead. You wanna fight? Fight hard. Yeah. You there, picked the wrong opponent. Doing better than I thought. There's more where this came from. Why are there so many cars over here? I 
Oh, golf. Oh my god. Please don't bring up Yakuza 3. They're kind of like batting cages, but both great places to relieve stress. Kauru? What? I think I went to one in Sotenbury before, right, with Kauru. Oh my gosh, she's actually mentioned. They didn't forget about her. <laughs> she, she, she actually got remembered. <laughs> Holy fuck. Somehow she managed to damage her golf club so badly, a bent, an employee even yelled at us for it. Back then I thought she was someone who was perfect in every way, but she's actually pretty clumsy. Music even though we went our yesterday. separate ways, I still cherish the time we spent together. Wow. Very surprising. <laughs> non but what was that run, bro? Are you okay? Wait, are these guys, like, hoarding this memory? Do I need to beat up a motherfucker? Like, what, what do I gotta do? Oh, no! <laughs> Happy birthday. Happy birthday to you! Best birthday ever! <laughs> Dom made his breakfast potatoes that he wanted to make. <laughs> I hope you enjoy your birthday breakfast potatoes. <sighs> anyway, I can't go get that one until I'm stronger, so now I'm just really extra depressed. We're making our way down to survive. Oh, that's a picture. Oh, I have to go back there anyway. Uh. Hey, I'm in good shape. <laughs> Not bug. Lots of cars here in Eugene Show. Guess that makes sense considering there's a highway nearby. I can't say I have the greatest memories of highways, though. <laughs> when I was trying to rescue Haruka, I was ambushed by the snake flower triad, which led to a car chase. Once, I was even attacked by the Jinwa Mafia and had to fight them off on a cargo bed. I've got no had nothing but dangerous experiences on the highway. <laughs> Just constant bad memories. It's okay. He's fine. Kiryu's perfect guard has been enhanced in the brawler style, uh, successfully performing a perfect guard against uh, Oh, it's a counter attack now. Oh shit, okay. Stranger, you got some money on you? I run a couple games here. A humble gambler. I don't know how to play these kinds of games, though. I need to learn. Uh -huh. You remind me of a kid I once knew when I was running games out in West Park in Camarocho. <laughs> huh. <laughs> Gee, I wonder. Do I do I want to go gamble? There's a memory down here, so I guess we're doing this. Oddly enough, gambling dens always remind me of Haruka. She had a gambler's instinct, one that's strangely good at that. Her predictions were always right on the money. After listening to her, I ended up winning too much, and I had and a huge fight broke That's out. <laughs> These memories out never fail to make me smile nowadays. I feel a bit sorry for those gamblers, though. <laughs> I remember that. Oh 
Oh my god, my pants are wet. Look at those graphics. Oh my god, my pants. And Nambas too. Y'all, we got a lot of memories. I'm sorry, this is just a stream of pain at this point. How do you not do all of this, though? Like, I don't know. I feel like I have to. They're really making this like the end of Kiryu. This fucking sucks, dude. I've got some more fight in me. I don't know how to stomach this game. We can't go in to survive at all? Oh, come the fuck on. Are you kidding me? No problem so far. Now pose, try a sad face, try a sad face, give me a smile, look silly, look silly. Now pose, now pose, look silly, give me a smile, try a sad face. Now pose, try a sad face, look silly, give me a smile. Now pose, look silly, try a sad face. I actually slept well last night. <laughs> Good for you, buddy. Found it. Picture perfect. Hustle Boutique looks like some kind of secondhand clothing shop. They've got some pretty fashionable clothes in stock, too. Reminds me of when I picked out Mitsuo's clothes in the past. Oh, I remember that. Looking back on it now, he looked real sharp. Guess I do have a good sense of fashion as ah, well. That takes me back. If there's such a thing as reincarnation, maybe I'll work in the fashion industry in my next life. <laughs> that would be very interesting. He was trying to impress Riona, and I think what I chose was pretty solid. Maybe I should have done that more often for the kids, or maybe in my next life, if there is such a thing. They'll call me the Dragon of Design or something! <laughs> <laughs> Ever since I joined the faction, I'd adhere to their dress code every single day. I haven't really thought about choosing my own clothes, but the usual outfit I used to wear, the gray suit and the red shirt were the, with the popped collar. I guess you could say that's more my ah, style. That takes now me I'm back. starting to realize I can't wear whatever I want anymore. What do you mean? This current outfit's not bad, but I can't bring myself to say it suits me. Excuse me? He doesn't think his current outfit suits him? Bro? If I could zoom into your chest right now, oh my fucking god. Mm. He's insane. Like, Kiryu's you straight up insane. Heavy brain damage, that's all I gotta say. Like, he doesn't think he's slaying with this outfit. He doesn't think he's hot shit. Like, bro, what kind- what are you smoking? <laughs> Can you stop, like, guarding? <laughs> this district's one of Indian Cho's many symbols, a hub of different bars and pubs. Aww. That reminds me, I used to hit up one of the bars in Onomichi pretty often. Everyone there was a regular, so it was hard to get in to know them. Turns out they were all good people, though. 
We'd raise a glass and chat over good drinks together. I'd always be thankful. I'll always be thankful for that bar for providing me with a comfortable space. Well, that is really cute. Good old Yakuza 6. I liked that. I liked that setting a lot. Remember, stretching is important. <sighs> this game is so sad. Jesus Christ. Where am I going? Oh, I went the wrong way. a picture or something that I missed, whatever. What do you have to say, bro? Mother wouldn't approve, but she can't stop me now, oh god. Dude. A rocket launcher? Jesus, okay. I won't lie, this river is filthy. <laughs> Look like the river in Sotenbury. Maybe things have changed by now, but it was also pretty dirty back then. Sotenbury, the entertainment capital of the West and Komorocho's biggest rival. The ritzy ambience is really similar to Komorocho, but it still has its own allure. It also happened to be the battleground between the Jinwa Mafia and the Omi Alliance. I met Ryuji, Goda, and Kaoru for the first time. Guess you could say it was a pretty special place for me. Plus, the food's great. Nothing beats authentic Osaka-style takoyaki. It's a great city, uh, but it won't ever top Komorocho. I can't wait to go to Komorocho in this game. We can go there now, but I want to make sure I get all the memories first. The soup kitchen? Hold on, can I get soup? Thank you. The Castle Keep! Uh, the homeless here sure are daring. I remember there was something like that in one of the dreams I had. Oh my god. <laughs> one where I was none other than Sakamoto Ryoma. For some reason I enlisted in the Shinsegumi, though I doubt the real Sakamoto Ryoma would ever would. And toward the end, I was at the top of the castle keep, battling an evil mastermind. But for a dream, that sunrise was damn beautiful. Strange how vivid everything was. Perhaps this is a memory from a this past life. Memories. That'd be ridiculous. Ishin mentioned. That's so funny. Don't hurt me. I'm a pussy. Hey, buddy, what's up? I just stole that man's whisk. Hey, I'm a good shake. I kind of feel like an asshole. What if he needed that? Wait, isn't this the guy that gave us Nancy? I'd love a Nancy nasty crawfish right now. Yeah, he was the one that was initially going to eat Nancy. They'd have that same NPC back. He was gonna cook him. <clears throat> there sure are lots of bridges in a Jean show. Oh! <laughs> Whenever I see a bridge, I can't help but think of the countless times I'd have to throw somebody off of one! Ah, that takes me. <laughs> Maybe I ought to try making better memories when I'm still alive. Man, bridges remind me of all the people I've had to yeet it off a bridge before. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Kiri. <laughs> Get out. Meeku does it at all, then that will not be my thing. Classic Kiryu. No problem. Imagine if this was like your introduction to Yakuza and you're getting all of these memories. Oh, I can't go this way. You're getting all of these memories from past games for Kiryu. And if that doesn't compel you to play the other Yakuza games, I don't know what fucking will, bro. Like, you're a lost cause, is what I say. <laughs> Raise your horn, thank you for gifting a sub. I appreciate it. I won't hold back. Get serious. I'm on it. 
Oh, she stepped on him. And somebody got jealous. Have fun with this. I am very compelled. Good. Yakuza games are great, man. Wild ass plots. Follow my lead. These games are the best. Did you really think you'd win? Learning more every day. Whew. We should relish this moment. Okay. Ah, not a scratch. Hey, Aloha, how's it? Aloha, how's it for all the Kane Wahine and and even the little cakey that might be tuning in. Well, let's hope that's not many. Hey, come on, Ula. This show's for everybody. Spirit of Aloha, remember? I can't argue with that, Big P. Spirit of Aloha. Sp Looks like an old-fashioned arcade. Guess that's what the co kids call <laughs> retro. I used to frequent arcades like this back in the day. Had lots of fun playing games. The folks behind all these games must be incredibly creative and unique. Oh my god. Sega be like. Come to think of it, most of what I played were from a company called Sega. They always seem to innovate with every new game they put out. And with a lineup like theirs, I'm sure they'll be around for years to come. <laughs> Makes me wonder what other kinds of games are out there waiting to be played. I remember this. But if I could live forever, I'd play them all. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Spirit of Ohana. Exactly. Exactly. The ant, it's a big Ohana when you're here at Segwaves. It's big wherever you go. <laughs> yeah, their ego stroking themselves. Way. They sure are. <laughs> Hit it. If you'll allow me the honors... Oh, please be my guest. <laughs> <laughs> Mahalo, cuz. To our Segwaves Ohana, young and old. Today's episode is all about some... <laughs> <laughs> Koreatown. Reminds me of a history with the Jingyuan Mafia. Our feud dates as far back as Kazuma-san's time. We've had a number of conflicts with them in the past. It was kill or be killed, but... Here I am now, fighting alongside a remnant of the Jingyuan Mafia, Junghi Han. If you told me this years ago, I'd never believe ah, it. That takes Guess you back. never know what life's got in store. The future's always unpredictable, especially in a Yakuza game, man. Oh yeah. I heard this from Junghi Han the other day. Hmm? You use those windmills over in Komi Jewel to power your washing machine, right? You guys still into that? Oh, you mean wind energy? Of course. We look into that just about every day. The new fan's performance has been optimized to catch even the tiniest breeze. Wow. Well, then that means... That's right. We've got spin cycle and everything. <sighs> the goal <laughs> is to generate stable power, but it's hard to do so with renewable energy. Probably be a while before you can get the dryer running. Well, I could always strap you to a bicycle. I'm sure that'd do the trick. I think I'll pass. Damn, Song Hee. The Gomichuo headquarters are just up ahead. My history with Gomichuo goes way back to my connection with their parent organization, the Jigmyo Mafia. And now Song Hee is not only leading them, but after Zhao ceded power to her, she's also in charge of the Leo Mom. It'd be no exaggeration to say that Song Heeb the has the entire Yokohama underground under her thumb. She must be under a lot of pressure, still. What an impressive feat, even though it's only been a short while since we met. I can tell she was born to be a leader. She has the potential for it. Seeing the next generation carry us into the future fills me with hope. Nostalgic. I sounded like a geezer just now. Oh, now he- okay. Now Kiryu is self-aware. Okay, okay, buddy. <sighs> Is this side of the map done? It looks like well, I can't do that one, but I'm just gonna take the th fucking taxi, bro. I'm too lazy. <clears throat> it's 
superior weed worth it. Oh, why am I doing this? That's a fucking good question I'm asking myself. I hope they mention things like, I don't know, I don't know. Whatever happened to the florist? Remember that guy? Maybe they'll mention the florist at some point. Should I check out that convenience store? The Popo. Popo and M store are the go-to convenience stores, at least to me they are. They've got bento, odin, Chinese buns, even their own specialties you can't get anywhere else. Hard to say which one I like more. Some customers get all up in arms for their favorite convenience store, though. Guess I'm more of a moderate. I like the bento at Popo, but nothing beats the hot food they've got at M store. Come to think of it, I haven't passed by here in a while. Maybe I should try something for both stores at a little comparison test for old times' That's sake. Nostalgic. No matter how old you get, shopping and eating delicious food will always be good fun. Okay, can't get to that one, but we absolutely can do this one. Maybe he'll get mentioned in a flower shop. Yeah, he'll go to a flower shop and be like, hmm, remember the florist? <laughs> remember that guy? Helped me in a lot of Yakuza games. Like, five Yakuza games? I forget how many. I've seen a castle split into two vertically, but who the hell would believe me if I told them that? <laughs> But it really did happen, I swear it did. On top of that, another castle popped out of the crack from the ah, first one. That takes me back. Maybe I should visit that castle again sometime, just to prove I didn't dream the whole thing up. Probably should do that. <clears throat> People would think that'd be too crazy to be true. Yeah. If you told me that, oh hell yeah, bro. I think you're crazy. Curious life is a crazy one. Oh, I just realized that's a food truck for Smile Burger. They have food trucks now. No problem so far. Son. Mm hmm. Hey, your arm is bleeding. You're right. I'm not sure how that happened, but it should be fine if I leave it. Don't. It might become infected or leave a scar. You need to get that treated. Let me have a look. Uh, wait. No, that's all right. I carry a first aid kit. I'll handle it. You're a nosy one, aren't you? Maybe so. And you tend to look out for others at the expense of your own needs. Oh! You've got the qualities of a great leader. It's important to look after your own well-being, too. Huh. Hearing that from you, of all people, I appreciate it. Things Hearing are going that from well. Kiryu of all people. Mm -hmm. Our bond's getting deeper. Yeah, look who's talking, oh. right? Ain't that right, They're bro. selling gyoza. Oh, it smells fantastic. Do we get some? That's all right. I actually prefer to make them from scratch. I always get lost in thought when I'm filling and shaping all those dumplings. It's, it helps me think things through. I can understand that. And I end up making a ton whenever there are big concerns or budget issues. Can I not I get it to that one? Of gyoza to hide a mountain of problems. All right. No. The enemies are too strong. No. Son of a bitch. No. <laughs> this game sucks. It's probably like the best one. It's probably one talking about Akiyama. I bet you. They block, they put bosses in front of the most important reminiscing moments. And I bet it's Akiyama, because he's the best. 22 months? That's too old for Sony games. Side note <laughs> that your TNTL videos have been getting me through my retail work weeks the past year, and I appreciate you and your content. Aww. Thanks for being cool, Karn. Wow, Chris to clap. Thank you for being cool. What the hell? Thank you so much for the 22 months. I really appreciate that. You ever go to the arcade, Sunny? Yeah, not much, but I did go to one the other day, actually. There was this claw machine prize I'd been after. Yeah? Did you get it? Did she get it? Of course she did. She's a gamer. It wasn't even close. And now oh. I'm short 5,000 yen. Now that's persistence. That's embarrassing. You do know an employee can rearrange the... <laughs> actually, they offered, but I refused. 
had already given up at that point. I would have Girl. accepted if I were you. But anyway, I can give you some tips next time. I can't go. I can't jump over that. I'm when it comes to claw machines. That's encouraging. No, we can finally get that little rabbit. That, um. Hmm. Oh, uh, no, no, no. It was nothing. That claw machine is going down. Dude, I am. <laughs> That's the spirit. Things are going well. Wait, there are segues really here. To know them. Oh, I I oh, I okay. I could have just looked at my UI and saw that, but um, I thought it was just an Ichiban thing. There's so much nature here. It's really soothing. Maybe I should incorporate more greenery into Komodo. Oh, I just got a CD? Yeah, I guess it does look pretty bleak. In that case, I might as well set up a vegetable garden, too. I'd love to be able to harvest my own crops. I can see you going all in and eventually cultivating an entire thing. field. Might start a new forest before we know it. That sounds like something to look forward to. All right. Our bond's getting deeper. Now this is quite the stage. I bet they use it to put on shows. I wonder if it's possible to build a ring here. Just imagining a ring still gets my blood pumping after all. I am the one, the only, Dragon Mask. Of course, I only started wrestling for Taiichi's sake. But after a strange turn of events, I actually fought in the ring while I was in Fukuoka against a real wrestler. That was a long time ago. At this rate, Dragon Mask will fade into obscurity. In that case, I'd like to wrestle one last time. I'll be the retirement match of the decade. I remember this. And if possible, I'd like it to be against Taiichi now that he's all grown up. Give him something to remember me by. Oh, Jesus. These flowers are always pristine. They are. Say, what's your favorite flower? Hmm, let's see. Can I not get that one? Nothing fancy, but I'd say white clovers. They're typically... Fuck this game. ...we found everywhere. There's always a ton of them, but if you look closely, each flower is unique. No florist would ever bother selling clovers, but I never get bored of them. Plus, their little fluffy flowers are adorable. It... Oh, but talking about this stuff doesn't really suit me. Hmm, I disagree. Those flowers are generally overlooked. But you still notice that each one is unique. I think that's just like you, Sunhi. Huh, I'll take that as a compliment. Things are going well. I've really gotten to know them. This area is packed with fishermen today. Speaking of, Jungi goes fishing every once in a while. He does? Oh, really? Does he go out on the ocean for that? No, fishing holes are his go-to spot. He's generally a man of few words, but he gets really talkative while fishing. It's like the floodgates open up when his line goes out. He shares a hidden side of himself. He usually doesn't catch much, but I always feel like I've reeled in some big insights. It's possible that the fishing pond is his space to just let go. Do you like fishing? Why don't we go together sometime, Kiryu-san? Oh shit. Sounds like you'll have me spilling my whole life story before I know it. That's the plan. All right. Dude, Sunghee is a simp for Kiryu, and I am just here for Our it. bond's getting deeper. Absolutely. Like, go get it, queen. I fucking love this girl. She's me. The view of the Ferris wheel from over here just never gets old. You into Ferris wheel, Sunhee? You could say that. Mostly, I prefer to admire them from afar. Mm -hmm. I just get lost in that Who twinkle isn't? as I it know. slowly spins around. Oh, and I feel the same way about merry-go-rounds. <laughs> so a day at an amusement park with you would be a day spent going around in circles. Oh, I need to move. Oh. I guess you wouldn't actually be on the rise. Ah, a day at the amusement park with you, Kiryu-san? Another date? In that case, it actually might be cool to go for a spin. On the Ferris wheel, the merry-go-round, or even one of those teacup rides together. 
After that, our eyes will be going in circles. Things are going well. Damn. She has asked us out on so many Complete. dates in these conversations. It is actually impressive. Damn. I love this girl. Every time I look at the sea, memories of Okinawa keep flooding back into my mind. <laughs> Playing with the kids, ca kids catching fish for dinner, a life of peace and content. If only I could turn back time, if just for a little. Feels like just And yesterday. here I am now, sounding like an old man. My age is catching up to me. <sighs> I've been walking for a while now. Getting tired? Of course not. I don't get worn out that easily. Though, I don't see anything wrong with taking a break here and there. Is that right? Then why don't we find a spot to take a breather? Let's go to that park with the view you like so much. Oh. Oh, that's the finale talk. Oh, we're there. Okay, wait, I might as well just do this. We're going on a real date. Remember, stretching is important. I hope it's voiced. The view from here really is spectacular, okay, isn't it? I'm really happy you remembered how much I love this place. Well, thank you for sharing it with me. This view has really grown on me, too. I've passed by countless times, but... I didn't realize how scenic it was until you showed me. <laughs> I'm glad you appreciate it, too. I do value my alone time, but you tend to discover more when you're out with a friend. It's made me realize that having a companion is a beautiful thing. True. I felt the same way in Hawaii, and I've learned so much from you and the others here. Everyone carries a unique perspective. Even the most casual conversations are refreshing. Definitely not something you can get on your own. I'm glad you feel the same. Hmm. Let's try out the Ferris wheel together. We should try out that Ferris wheel together. That sounds like the best view of all. Huh? But I thought it's so nice from right here. Uh, wait. Scratch that. Yeah, let's do it. We'll take it straight <laughs> to the top. You had to think about that. You. <laughs> I'm glad you seem excited. We'll make it fun, Sunny. Of course. I'll hold you to that. With a view like this, we should make it last. How about a picture? I'll take one for you. A picture? You know, I actually don't think I've ever taken one here. But if we're taking pictures, why not join me? That is, if you want to, of course. Yes, take a picture you want with me in there? I suppose we can take one together. Aww. Thank you, you Kiryu-san. This was a great detour. I hope we have many more like it. Likewise. It's always a pleasure, Sunhi. Oh. I like that. That was cute. I think that's all I can do here. Um... want to quickly double check. I think Kamurocho time? We gotta get out of here. But then again, I guess the plot is over there, too. Um, I could touch the plot. Like, just give it a little tap or something. But I also could go to Kam Kamurocho, so let's go to Kamurocho. First time we're seeing it in this, uh, in this game. How different is it? This is pain. There's nothing here. There's nothing here. There's nothing here! Crystal, chat. Make sure that Xin doesn't know that another woman is in to cure you. Ugh! It's been a hundred. Oh. 
and Kaichi Street Gate. You could say it's a symbol of the city. Every time I pass through this gate, I get this feeling that I'm either heading off or heading off to or coming back from a different battle, <laughs> a difficult battle. Maybe because this gate's always been there for every major occurrence in my life. Memories. Next time I pass through this gate, I wonder what kind of battle awaits me. <sighs> so many memories in Kamurocho. So many memories. Oh, the Stardust music! Wait, I hear it! Does it still exist? The Cosmo family office used to be here. I've, it's been a while since I've last passed through. Shintaro Kazuma, the only man I've ever called Pops. He seemed so mature and unfathomable back then. And now, before I even knew it, I'm the same age as he was. I wonder if I was a role model for someone, just like how he was ah, mine. That takes me back. I wonder if he's proud looking down on me and seeing what kind of man I've become. Oh my god. Just don't move and they won't see you. 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 I feel like I shouldn't be here. <laughs> so many memories. Oh my god. This building should have a lot of memories. I'm fine. Sexy club? Look, man, I don't know what I'm doing. Look. Oh, of course, there's got to be one right here. Serena. New Serena, the only place in this city I feel the calmest. Nowadays, Date-san and the Mama manage the place, but in the past, Reina was the Mama and Yumi worked here too. Nishiki and I frequented the place even though we had no money. Back then, we just listened to each other ramble on and on. I thought those peaceful days would last forever, but now I'm the only one left behind. I don't think I could ever get used to this loneliness. Oh! Feels like just yesterday. <sighs> It'd be sad. <laughs> It'd be nice if I could just walk into Serena, no hesitation, and have a drink. Sometimes it feels like a huge weight's been lifted off of me the moment I walk through the door, but other times I leave with my heart twice as heavy, and no other place can do that. I won't hold back. Sorry, I wasn't listening to the music till till now. Yeah. Something wrong. I hate this game. Back in the 
Like it. Something wrong? I won't hold back. Wanna play, do you? Let's do it. Easy. Waste of my time. And that's the end. Doing better than I learning more every day. There's more where this came from. Okay. Oh my god, so many memories back here too. Jesus Christ. How many battles did we fight back here? Do they let me go up? The vacant lot behind Serena. Nothing much to it. Except for some reason I always end up in a fight here. <laughs> From one-on-one -on -one scuffles to all-out battle royales here of all places. Maybe this is just the ideal place for a This brawl. brings back memories. Like some kind of punk rite of passage. Can't go without throwing down at the Serena backlot at least once. That's true. I probably shouldn't stick around for too long. Another brawl might just be around the corner. <laughs> Can you go up? I kind of want to get my, um, what does, I don't, I'm gonna get my translator out. I want to know what this says. Doing the picture thingy where it translates. Because we know what this door is, but, hold on. Hmm. He translates. I got this. Looking for tenants? Looking for tenants. Subaki, Subaki, Gich, Subaki Jiku? Real estate. Mm. Vacant building. Okay. Akiyama's dead. Let's get going. Oh shit! The roof! The roof! I think I see something. Should I open it? It opened. Revival microphone. Oh, is that. Wait, is that Haruka's? Wait, favored by an idol who retired suddenly, then used it as her combat, her cut or comeback concert? Was that. Is this supposed to be Haruka's? Mm <clears> hmm. <throat> Oh, Jesus Christ. Akiyama's dead, guys. He's actually dead. Please leave me alone. Stardust! Stardust is still here. It was taken over by the Jingmyon Mafia. It looks like Kazuki and Yuya, the owner and the manager, put in a great deal of effort to reclaim its title as Kamurocho's top host club. This town's a harsh place for honest folk. They've earned my respect for not only surviving, but thriving. Actually, it reminds me, the first time I met Yuya, he came swinging at me right out of the blue. Said afterward that he mistook me for another Yakuza trying to squeeze protection money from them. Perhaps it's because they've got spirit that they've been able to make it out. Make it out here. Kazuki, Yuya, this might be a tall order, but don't settle for being the best in Kamurocho. Aim to be the best in Japan. That's and if I'm still out. alive by then, I'll send you to an extra large congratulatory wreath. On anonymously, of course. Aww. Why is Kiryu still so, such, such a sweetie? Good old Kamurocho. Feels weirdly um, empty.
Must be somebody else. Uh, I'm still gonna say it's Haruka's. Just because. That sounds cute. Oh my god, there's so many... So many, so many enemies around. Please leave me alone. I think I'm supposed to come here much later, but I, I'm just go doing it now. Oh, an Aloe Happy place. I'm perfectly fine. Kamurocho Festival? What the hell? They really cleaned up this area. <laughs> there used to be a lot of homeless camping here and there, but now they're nowhere to be seen. I heard that's the reason Kamurocho has been thriving recently. Feels like just Personally, yesterday. I didn't. I don't mind the old Kamurocho that didn't bother keeping up appearances and hiding its old, its uglier side. The manhole. We're gonna have a memory at the manhole now. Oh god, oh god, if I, I if I live to see the day. Wait, I cannot. Oh my god, there's so many enemies. I have to make it first. Plaza looks so empty, doesn't it? It's so weird. Oh boy. Is there a memory in front of the pocket circuit building? The manhole! Yes! Nothing unusual about this park except for the manhole in the back. Underneath it is an intricate sewer system. Oh! <gasps> Some might say it's just another facet of this city. At one point, Akiyama went into hiding there. I remember this. To be honest, it seemed kind of fun. Maybe I should experience it myself once before I move on to the next life. Akiyama mentioned. <laughs> Akiyama mentioned. Oh god, the batting center. Yeah, it better have a lot. Lots of memories here. Whew. Hey, don't slow down on my account. I always make sure I have one of everything. The Yoshida Batting Center. I went to the batting cages with Song Hee and the others in Yokohama, but nowhere else can top this place. Now I feel like working up a sweat. Maybe Feels I'll like send some yesterday. balls flying for old time's sake. Hit every curveball out of the park. <laughs> Use it or lose it, as they say. They have like crane games here now. What the hell? That's new. Yes, bitch. Okay, here we go. That was a good hit. Baseball bats remind me of, well, Majima. <laughs> I wonder if the other Tojo clan officers think so too. Goro Majima, a reckless man, but one who lives by his own rules. I can't tell you how many times he's tried to kill me. <laughs> but at the same time, I can't even count how many times he's saved my life. He's one messed up guy. <laughs> But despite all that, he's more suited to be a boss than I ever That's will be. If both Majima-san and Kasuga could lend me a hand, I'd feel like I could take on the world. <laughs> uh, a man whose conviction is stronger than anyone else I've known. On top of his wild charisma to guide the Yakuza out of this current mess. <laughs> we love Majima in this house.
There's still one more in there. Can you get on the roof? There was a there were battles on the roof before, but I don't know where the stairs are. Maybe the stairs are outside. I'm assuming it's on the roof of the building. Maybe it's no. I don't remember. <laughs> the roof. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the back and see if there's stairs on the back side. Oh, there they are. Yeah, 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 yeah. Should be up here. Yeah, there you go. Still a satisfying sound. Whenever I think of a baseball, Shinada comes to my- Hey, They actually didn't forget about him! That's crazy! Shinada, a man who once made his debut in the big leagues. He fell victim to a fate so cruel, it'd be wrong to write it off as bad luck. Despite everything, he never lost his passion for baseball. I don't think I'm capable of de dedicating my entire life to one thing like he has. I respect him for that, and I envy him a little too. Though it's never too late to start trying, ah, is it? That takes me Maybe back. I still have time to find my true passion, like what baseball is to Shinada. Oh my god, he remembered Shinada. That's crazy. So are they going to remember Tanamura? They should. It seems like they're actually bringing it up, which is wild. Holy shit, that ain't Camarocho Hills. Oh look, the Millennium Tower. It's still intact. I feel like if Kiryu's gonna die at the end of this game, actually he's definitely, something bad's gonna happen, but if they're gonna do that, I feel like you can't have like a fitting end to like the Kiryu saga without the final battle being at the top of the Millennium Tower. I feel like it's not a... Kiryu can't go out like any other way. Hey, we didn't forget these things. Yeah. <laughs> but it feels like they did. <laughs> The scenery around here hasn't changed a bit. I just remembered something about 10 years ago. Oh. <laughs> That's right, we had to be gay with Rikia. I had an encounter with Rikia, captain of the small Okinawa and Yakuza family. One time, we had to pretend to be a couple to sneak into a love hotel. It caught me off guard at the time. I couldn't believe what was happening. But looking back now, it was pretty funny. Well, thank like you for that, yesterday. Rikia. <laughs> Rikia the homie. We will forever remember. I don't think I'm able to get this one. It looks like a boss fight. It's just wild seeing Kamurocho Hills. Holy shit. That's crazy. Yeah, we can't get to that one. Y'all, there are so many to get. Hey, don't slow down on my account. Oh, disco. What is it now? Wait, is that in the tower? Like, where- Oh, this? The Millennium Tower. Why are we outside? <laughs> it might be a symbol of this town nowadays, but it actually used to be a filthy shopping district. A large-scale development project started, and the Yakuza spilled blood, fighting over this empty plot of land. I was right in the middle of all of the action. If everyone involved in that conflict could see this view today, I wonder what they'd have this to say. This brings back memories. Kuze would probably be like, Kuze! Maybe something along the lines of, you can make good money with this. <laughs> the good old empty lot. Please don't hurt 
heard me. <laughs> this place used to be a huge bathhouse back in the day. I guess they shut it down. You know Sono's Hot Springs. It was a nice, spacious establishment, hot baths aside. I had a lot of fun playing table tennis here, even though it's smack dab in the middle of Kamurocho. Every visit felt like going on vacation. Didn't like getting all sweaty after a soak, this. though. But, you know, going on an actual vacation doesn't sound half bad. Yeah, that's what Hawaii should have been for you, buddy. An actual vacation. Idiot. <laughs> Rocho Hills is crazy. We went to this corner so often, dude. This corner. There was like a bathroom and they had the the, the garbage pit that Majima was just chilling at so often. fire pit thing. This used to be a hangout spot for the homeless. The average guy wouldn't even think about approaching. But it guarded a huge secret, Purgatory! The florist! Hey, the florist mentioned! Every time I think about it, sometimes I wonder if that place was even real. I can't help but feel a little suspicious. Purgatory always seemed like a space disconnected from ah, reality. That takes me back. Still, the fact that anything is possible in this town is exactly what makes this place so great. Oh boy. Earth Angel is still there. Oh, boy. oh Jesus! No, you don't. You don't notice me, buddy. Hi. Hmm. Please just let me pass. Do any of you ever stop to think about Makoto? Like what she's up to? How she's doing? What's life like? Oh my god. Wait, that's Sam Lot, isn't it? I don't remember where it was actually. <laughs> it's been a hot minute. Way too often. Oof, that's rough, buddy. No, this isn't the empty lot. No, fuck. That's... I forget where it was at. But yeah, anyway. Millennium Tower. Anyway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know it was a Millennium Tower. I'm just going fucking... I don't... I just had, like, a derp moment. A lit, little Asia is merely a shadow of its former self now. It seems... It needs some more time to recover from that past fire. Back then, as the name implies, Little Asia was a community of residents who came from all over Asia. There was a no number, no small number of illegal immigrants either, so the place was considered a gray area. Oh shit, Tanamara mentioned! But there was a man who supported those same residents every day in secret, despite his position in the police force. Tanamara, a man I once fought alongside in the past, but after that we lost all contact. I wonder how he's been. But a former Yaksa meeting with a police officer? That's just spelled trouble for him. It'd be better off if I kept my distance. Oh, they're trying to be like, yeah, Tanamura's never coming back, by the way. I'd hate to end things here, though. If only I had a good reason to reach this out brings to him. Back memories. I guess you could consider this one of my regrets, too. I think this is RGG speaking, that they regret no never bringing him back. I think that, I think that RGG is projecting. The Champion District. This site'll never get old. It's like another town within Kamurocho. It's full of places to drink, each with their own unique character. Despite how often I came here, there are a number of bars I've never even been inside. Feels like just Might be yesterday. fun to do a pub crawl here someday. I want to go to Earth Angel. Oh, 
You're still here! I forget your name. But it looks like the same person that runs it. Oh, 25-year-old Yamazaki? Yes, bitch, give me that. With some edamame, because we feel like it. Age like fine wine? Wait a second. Why do I know? Just send me, give me your whole menu. There. Let's dig in. The Looks real good. Worth it. That was great. That was certainly food. Worth it. Arigatou gozaimashita. Good to see you again. It's been a hot minute. Mama! My brain is weird with what it remembers and what it doesn't remember. I should have remembered that name. Why is you only sell divine water? Holy shit, that sketch. What is this place? Shellic? Oh, I vaguely remember the name of this. Why do I remember this one? I may need to puke. I am already so drunk. I really should not drink more. <laughs> Divine water? You mean aha water? The manhole is still here. How many times did Majima pop out of this one in particular, though? Oh, oh no! This building! Ah! <laughs> There's a memory in front of it! No! If, if it's not the fucking truck, then I'll be so disappointed. Shangri-La, that's what this was called. I believe Kasuga was raised by the manager here. No! I want- no, oh, I wanted it to be the fucking- the fucking truck. Originally, it was a luxurious soap land exclusively for those with a membership, one of the best being Shinji. At that time, I thought he had a problem with how he was so addicted to sex. But maybe being so passionate about something is a good thing. While I was away in prison, he did a lot of growing up. I'm sure he must have had fa he must have faced hardships if he was still ah, alive today. That takes me back. I would have liked to see the kind of man he'd become, but there's no point thinking like that now. Damn it. I guess that's a good memory too, whatever. How am I gonna get to this one? <clears throat> Shinji reference? That is a very surprising reference. Although, I mean, it is cute. But still, like, every time I think of this building in particular, there's just, like, the... the imprinted image of Majima just driving that truck right into the fucking building. And I think- I remember nothing else. Because that moment is just so fucking iconic. Hello? There we go. Little Asia! God, it's still shit. They have- they never recovered it. A while back, it served as the headquarters for the CEO triad of Chinese Mafia. Oh my god, Yuta! Mentioned. And the one who was connected to them was Yuta, Haruka's husband. I still can't believe it, even after all these years. He's a good guy, a bit timid at times, but he's got the nerve to see through what needs to be done. He's a looker. Eh, I'll give him that. Someone like him, I know he'll make Haruka and Haruto happy, I'm sure of it. And I'm um, on the off chance he makes them both cry, a ghost is going to have to pay him a visit. This brings back memories. I'm entrusting you with their happiness, Yuta. Mm, make them happy for me. This is so painful, dude. <sighs> no, this isn't like the. My brain thought that this was the rubber bullet place. It's not this place. There is it? No, it's not this place. Uh. 
Was that even taken in Kamurocho? I don't even remember. Uh, Saejima's rubber bullet fiasco. Was that in Kamurocho? Like, I genuinely don't remember. Outside of Kamurocho? Okay. Different city. Walking into this bar made me think of it. I don't know why, the setting looked a little similar at first. The rubber memory. <laughs> In the past, the food here tasted so disgusting, I thought it was strange that it didn't go out of business. It was actually a front for an underground casino that was really something, and now it's a decent ramen shop. I guess when people commit and put their minds to it, they can really change. Or maybe I'm just talking up the shop, making them look good. I'll leave out the little details and try to drop in for a bite every this once in a while. Memories. I spent a majority of my life in this town. It's surprising how I don't remember this building at all. I kind of want to peek inside, but maybe it's best to leave it as a mystery. After all, the people who work here either have nothing to do with me or don't know I exist. They've got their own lives to live. Strange to think that, but it just goes to show that the wo world is a wondrous place, bigger than we could ever imagine. I remember this. If the opportunity presents itself, I look forward to the day that I get to see what's inside. I would like to learn about Hawaii, though. I feel like I could explore every inch of it and still find something new. Interesting. This is where the cats were. I remember that. Isn't this like cat alleyway? Hoi, Crystal Love. That's the studio of Master Utaburi, a legend among tattoo artists. That's where he got it done. I have my back inked here. The first time I saw my finished back tattoo, I was so shaken up and in a world of pain, I thought I wouldn't be able to move. I hope Master Utaburi, uh, Utaburi is doing well. I wonder what he'd say if he saw me now. What do you think I'm living up to this tattoo? Honestly, I'm both tempted and terrified to find out. Aww. The next time I stand in front of him, I'll hold my head up high. Honestly, he's a little frightening, but I miss how blunt he is. I hope he's doing well. Um, Bovidev, thank you so much for the 76 month resub. Jesus, I appreciate it. That is a long time. Isn't this the wall where we first met Ryan Acosta? I don't remember. I think it was like right here though. I love Ryan. I know. <laughs> I love him so much. I think about Ryan often, okay? Oh, LaMarche! Yes, there's some good memories in here, too. A guy like me wouldn't visit such an ordinary high-class boutique, but I've made such a, gr I made a great memory here before. I once bought Yumi a birthday present here. I never did that kind of thing before, so I was really nervous about it. And to top it all off, it got stolen right after I bought it, so I had to track it down, had to track down the thief to get it back. I went through hell because of that ring, but it was all worth it. Because I was able to give her something that she'd always wanted. Feels like just I yesterday. I thought Yumi was happy with it. She was curious. And to think I'd give a woman a ring as a birthday present. I really was a naive fool back then. Isn't that what Nishiki told him to do, though, if I remember correctly? They were, like, sitting at the bar, and Kiryu, like, Yumi's birthday was brought up, and Kiryu and Nishiki were just sitting there, like, what do we get her? And wasn't it Nishiki that brought up the ring idea? Like, it wasn't Kiryu's idea. Oh, Reina did! Right! Didn't she give him a- wait, did she give them a lecture or something? She gave them- I thought she gave them a lecture of, like, 
making fun of like the boys for not knowing what to gift a girl for her birthday. Ah, uh, of course it was Reyna. Reyna was so badass. Ah, uh, how much do I, I drink? Uh, uh, Sorry, uh, Nanba, I just totally shot. <laughs> Uh, Kiryu had no idea what the fuck to do. Yeah, Kiryu d did not know how to give a lady a present. Oh, can I go into the underground? Oh, no! Wait, maybe over here? Do they let you? No? Okay. Hmm. Reina teased the Nishiki to get her that ring too. Yeah, and I know that that's what like spurned Nishiki's jealousy. But um, yeah, God, that's a that's a memory. <laughs> Dude, those guys are just standing there, like fucking move. Who wears a tie on their head like that? You goddamn idiot! Yeah, that's right. Walk away. Dude, it looks like he's having an existential crisis. Okay, I'll take your picture too. Dude, they won't fucking move. Bro, move. Arakawa family office. Aichiban Kasuga, the man who was instrumental to the dissolution of both the Tojo and Omi Alliance. I believe you to be a man I can trust to do what needs to be done. This might be the first time I've ever entrusted someone with such a big task. Ah, that takes me back. He really is one hell of a guy. His true strength is his ability to unite those around him. There's something he has that I don't, and to tell you the truth, I'm a little jealous of that. Really? <laughs> am I tripping? Wasn't it supposed to be here? Wait, am I going crazy? I think I'm... I don't remember where the agency is. I thought it was here. A little north? I thought it was... not in this square. I thought it was... It's the up... One block north? Uh, how much... Oh. This? Oh, I thought it was not this circle. Yeah. Huh, okay. Oh, there's a safe here. I walked right past it and I didn't Should see I open it. it? Nice. <clears throat> Hmm. 
The pawn shop. Oh. I'll buy a gift for a song oh. What do you got? Ibisu Pawn. From family heirloom size as part of a deck collection to a ring, both being sold the same day it was given to a hostess. <laughs> The pawn shop is a place where all kinds of things gather, each with their own history, but for some reason this place always struck me as a weapon and armor shop. They've got Japanese swords and even chainmail armor, strange as the selection is. I have to say, I do this like the variety. Memories. I really appreciate this shop for helping me get this far. Alright. To the corner, then. Song he didn't like it. It's okay. I gave it to her anyway. I'll force her to like it. Why would they build a police station this large here? It's giving off an I've got my eye on you vibe. <laughs> the cops and I get along like dogs and cats. But the detectives I've encountered were all guys who die for what they believed in. And I've been influenced by their way of life time after time. Date's the real homie, man. Date-san especially. I owe that man a great debt I doubt I'd ever be able to repay. If it weren't for him, I don't know if I'd still be alive to this day. Strange, ah, isn't it? Who would think a former back. Yakuza and a detective would wind up being friends? And one of the only ones I've got. Why would you say that? That's depressing. We're almost done, actually. Then I'll be forced to do plot me. <laughs> Kiryu really is just so lonely. He kills my insides, man. Oh, this fucking place. Cafe Alps. This place has been around for a while. It was even well established before the bubble era. I've spent hours nursing a cup of coffee here before. Gotta say, I'm pretty fond of this place. All sorts of dangerous things went down here. I even remember completing my first ever job training session at this cafe. I once worked somewhere called Tachibana Real Estate in the past. Wait, they're bringing up Tachibana here? And my instructor was a na man named Oda. Oh, this is a weird... Okay, never thought this would be coming up here. He drilled business etiquette 101 into my head here. He was an asshole. <laughs> he was an asshole, though. Never liked him much at all. But thanks to him, I remember the proper way to exchange business cards to this day. Feels kind of like a useless yesterday. skill, though, when I have no reason to. True. <laughs> Oda. Yeah, I remember him. The asshole. What a way to remember someone. Oh, look at that charcoal at Parfait. <gasps> Just get it because I can. Let's dig in. Why? <laughs> There's a woman faded into my. <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> Looks <real> good. Male. <laughs> woman. Certainly food. <laughs> so dumb. Oh Jesus. Woman. <laughs> Parfait ghost. Oh, a smile burger. Can you still get uh, get a smile? No. I wanted a smile. <laughs> Poor Namba, I keep bullying this guy. Wow. 
looks a little bit different. A zombie film. Oh my god, remember the, the oh my god, yes! The sub story! God, they're remembering the sub story back in zero. Oh, I thought this was the sub story. Oh, this is Dead Souls. Oh, never mind. I got really excited. I thought this was the, the Michael Jackson um sub story. Cause you had to do oh my god, never mind. And now I feel dumb. Kamurocho was swarmed with zombies for some reason. The entire town was closed off to contain them, and everyone still trapped inside left for dead. I also had this absurdly huge gun and went on a huge rampage. What an insane dream. Oh, it's just a dream, guys. It's not real. I don't know why, but everything was just so vivid. The emotions I felt then still leave an impression on me today. This brings back memories. It actually happened. Dreams really are strange. <laughs> I need to play this game. It looks like such a fun, stupid game. Like, just pure stupid. But I want to play it. The Millennium Tower. This is where my fate began. <laughs> oh. And this is where I settled the score with Nishiki. Even though we weren't related by blood, Nishiki was the closest thing I had to a brother. I thought we could just keep screwing around as small-time Yakuza under the boss, but I don't know where it all went wrong, or if this was the way things had to be. No matter how much thought I put into it, I just couldn't. I can't figure it out. Ah, that takes me back. That's why I need to keep my head up until it's time for us to meet again and I can face him with pride. I'll keep on living, or at least try to. No. Oh. I know I shouldn't dwell on what could have been, but I can't help it. Was there a way to prevent that tragedy? Oof. doing back here? Would you care for a Hong Kong? Sure. Phantom. I'd love to have a drink, but I don't want to make anyone fuss over me. A long time ago, this place used to be called Bacchus. It served some great drinks. It was also the place where I met Haruka for the first time. She was alone in a bar littered with corpses clutching a gun. I was shocked to see her there. She was so brave. Back then, she was just a child who wanted to find her mother. To think that Harka's now a mother herself, and that she'd give her life to protect her own child. This brings back memories. The longer you live, the more surprises you get to see. Hmm. Just that one. Weird. I didn't go in the Millennium Tower, though. <laughs> I don't feel like going inside. I just hope that the main plot of this game takes us in the Millennium Tower. That would feel so fitting. <laughs> so is this still- yeah. Okay, is it in here? No. A few decades ago, I knew someone who occupied this building. The penthouse, in fact. The king of real estate, Tetsu Tachibana. 
president of Tachibana Real Estate. To demonstrate his power, he caused a power outage in the city for a few seconds. Seeing Kamurocho in complete and total darkness at that time still leaves a strong impression in my memory. It is one of the most badass moments, for sure. Tajibana held so much power, but he only desired one thing, and in the end, his wish was never fulfilled. This brings back memories. Tajibana, what do you make of your life? Would you say it was a good one? Oh. All right, we're leaving. Oh, wait, no, I'm not leaving. There's one down here. That's, um... I thought that was the Siryu clan. No, that's not the Siryu clan. Oh god. Forget which office was there. Is it plot time? Yeah. Um, yeah, we're close. I can't get the memory. Alright, we're leaving. Plot. Can you believe it? Good evening. Party of three? Yeah. Anyone you're here to see? Sachan, uh, I mean, Psycho san, please. Right away, sir. My apologies. You have guests at table three. All right, folks. That's my cue. <laughs> <laughs> Nanba is so creepy. Hear you, son? Certainly a surprise. <laughs> So Kiryu-san's going through cancer. Yeah, believe me, I was shocked when I heard the news, too. But right now, we're focused on finding ways to move through it together. Got it. So that's why you're doing a bucket list. Yeah. And with any luck, he's gonna check off Tidoji, everything on it. Remember Kiryu? You're supposed to be dead. Everyone around him. OMG, is that Kiryu-san? Accurate. Thank you for the hundred bits. I helping him as best I forgot to pause alert, sorry. Gosh, just hearing that is getting me all fired up. <laughs> I knew you were our go-to gal, Sachan. I wasn't sure if just the two of us could pull it off. Thought we might need an extra hand. Aha! And that's where I come in? <laughs> you bet it is. I take it you'll join us? <laughs> as if I'd pass on that. Besides, you wouldn't stand a chance without me. Oh shit, okay, the confidence. Sit back and enjoy the ride, Kiryu-san. I'll get you wherever you need to go. Uh, would I be a burden on you? Oh please, that's the last thing you'd be. We've teamed up before, and we can do it again. Not to mention, your party could use a little feminine balance, no? True. Huh, what a curious thing to say. Then, if we're so lacking in that department, I'd love to see what you bring to the table. <laughs> Fine by me. I was looking for a challenge anyway. Chick fight! Hey, what's the deal with those two? <laughs> They're enjoying a little bonding. Is that what you call bonding? Well, with that being said, I'm looking forward to tonight, Kiryu-san. Oh god, she just joined the party, okay. Oh boy. All right, we got Sachan on board. Now 
Alex Kiryu-san himself requested. Let's go do some karaoke on the double. Karaoke! That's what we want to hear. Oh, that means we're going to survive. You know, I was a little surprised. Hmm. I thought you might push harder for Kiryu-san to get treated, especially considering your background and all. To be honest, I wish I could. But it's like talking to a brick wall. Hmm? It's this Kiryu-san, remember? I can't talk him into anything he doesn't want to do. But, the doctor said something that stuck with me. That a friend could change his mind down the road. So, I figured I'd switch my approach. We'll have Kiryu-san try to enjoy every last moment to the fullest. Eventually, he'll think, Man, isn't it great to be alive? And after that... He'll stay after alive. After that, he'll change his mind and want to live? That's the plan. I need to let Sachan in on it, too. So we'll all know what this bucket list is there for. You'll help, too, won't you? I'm not letting him go out without a fight. Yeah, right there with She you. definitely was just staring at his ass. And I was too, girl. Hey, Nanchan. Is Ichiban doing okay? Oh, well, shit. Well, he stirred up all kinds of trouble in Hawaii. But for him, Wait, is that uh, Ichiban? The, the... Right, yes, son? this is the store. Yeah. Oh, Nanny's still when there. I bumped into him. Picture perfect. Ichiban Confections. Look, she's still there. Oh, my God. Nugget! Omelette, rather! She's a friend of Ichiban's, talented. I hear she could manage a business. Knows how to shut down belligerent shareholders and lays some delicious eggs. Reminds me of a chicken I once knew. Arigato. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad that Kiryu got to experience omelet. Man, what a what a time! I miss Nugget. We didn't have a reminiscing uh, moment for Nugget, which I think is a crime. Uh, how much did I drink? Pedal to the metal. You wish Nugget was still alive. Chickens don't live that long, though. <laughs> Oh, I tried to get off. I, I totally failed at that. So, are we gonna have like a Kashiwagi and Kiryu moment? Because that'd be great. This is it, Kiryu san. Our old Ichinsho staple. The name's a bit weird, and the owner hardly ever cracks a smile. But he's a good guy. Yeah, you should meet it's the also owner. the only karaoke bar left. Meet the <laughs> at owner. Least that we like. Hey, barkeep. Got a new customer for you. <laughs> Our friend here is Taichi Suzuki. Oh my god, it's actually happening? Hmm. You two, uh, know each other? The <laughs> no, I imagine he mistook me for someone else. In any case, Survive's glad to have you, Suzuki-san. Uh, you good? You could no. Actually, I had a friend who looked just like him. For a moment, I thought. I thought he had come back. My apologies, sir. Oh. Hey, don't beat yourself up over it. With a face like mine, this sort of thing happens all the time. The tension. I think those two are just acting. It's hard for me to say. Sounds like a simple mix-up to me. I... We came here to sing, right? Well, what are we waiting for? Sure, help yourselves. Consider the place yours tonight. As a matter of fact, nothing would please me more. Thank you, truly. Hurt, say 
it seems sweeter dreams. You know, I wasn't sure how things would end up in Hawaii, but at least Kiryu-san seems to be doing better over here. And then he goes to sing Baka Mithai. It's all thanks to you. Right after seeing Kashiwagi. No need to thank me, Nanshan. You know I'm happy to help. And I'll do everything I can for him on my end. Call it a debt of gratitude if you want. <laughs> right on. We all owe Kiryu-san a lot, especially those of us from Ijinshu. But more than anything, if there's even a slight chance he'll make it, I personally want to see him get there. And I'm glad you both are here. Because, to be honest, there's too much to bear on my own. Memories of you Twisting my view I've been a fool Oh, here you son, that was great! Uh, yeah, top-notch stuff. So the rumors are true. The dragon of Dojima can carry a tune and then some. Seems to me you guys weren't even listening. Are you kidding? Of course we were. Well, I guess I just have a voice nobody wants to hear anymore. <laughs> but we really were listening. All right, who's up? The song's starting. Oh, not this hmm. one. Now, how'd that happen? Huh? Oh. If no one's taking it, I will. Oh, no. You did that on purpose. We're starving dogs running the rail line. The last song was, was fun, this one not so it. much. I say we back him up. Give it all you got. Yeah! yeah! We're breaking the law. Breaking the world together. Going out all tenderness. Kashi with a tambourine. <laughs> no cause, no choice, no go. Oh my god, they're going so hard. Nanbu? We'll keep our heads high. Our fists race till we die. We're living by our own judgment. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad. <laughs> this is cute. <laughs> yeah, that's, that sounded, I need to take that this. sounded good. All right, just don't be gone too long. Maybe they fixed it? Now I'm curious. Now we gotta play the actual karaoke Kiryu version and see if they fixed it. Was this a good idea or what? Maybe they I'm patched it? The or maybe life. it's just that scene, I don't know. Me too. Oh, bartender, can you fill us up? Hey. That sounded fine. It's me, what is it? This better be important. I told you I'm out on the town tonight. I know that, but what do you expect? This is Kiryu-san I'm with, my lifelong hero. Oh, so cute. That's adorable. Yo, Sunny, what happens? You look pissed all of a sudden. Do I? I'm sure it's just your imagination. I take it you have business to attend to? Wait, are you for real? What is more important than living it up with Kiryu-san? Well, it was nothing urgent. That said, I did receive some rather troubling news. A buzzkill or not, can you tell us? The Siryu clan's behaving oddly. They're recruiting and their numbers are getting bigger by the day. Huh? Wait, don't tell me that's what this is all about. You guys are the Komichul here. <laughs> See, Evina, the clan captain, is cooking up something called the Second Great Dissolution. He's even rallying the former Tojo clan and all these other groups to take part. That's right. Kasuga told me about that. To build a safe haven for all the ex-Yakuza roaming about. Supposedly, that's his big objective. Those with nowhere to turn can swear up for a time, in exchange for stable work. The waste management they do down by the docks is one example. You could almost say it's an expansion of what Kasuga was doing with Hello Work. What the heck? So you knew all along. The thing is, some of those ex-Yakuza joining up with the Seiryu, they had already gotten their lives back together. And it's not just a handful. I'm talking by the hundred. What? 
Why would that happen? If they were able to find jobs and all, what would even make the Seiryu clan appealing? Well, whatever's going on, I'm guessing Ebina's big plan is nothing more than a smokescreen for something else. And what his real goals are remain a mystery. You really think that's accurate? Honestly, I'm a little insulted. You're talking to the brain behind the Komi Jewel here. Well, sure. But still, there could be some other factors at play. Maybe those Yakuza went clean only to realize the rat race was just as dirty above ground. True. I can't account for details on every single situation out there. But it's the overall pattern of movement that concerns me. The Seiryu clan's also pulling their waste operation out of Yokohama, and they're pulling right into Hawaii. Hawaii? Yep. All their fresh recruits are packing their bags and heading overseas as we speak. You were there just recently, as I recall. Could this be a mere coincidence? Or maybe there's a deeper connection here. What is it with that place? Why is everything going down there at once? Does anyone in the Seiryu clan have some sort of Hawaiian affiliation? Actually, think about why Kasuka's there in the first place. Oh, that's right. It was Sawashiro. Not only was he former captain, he was Arakawa's right-hand man. What's more, he kept the secret that akane san has been alive all this time. And now he's risen to the top of the Seiryu clan, right next to Ebina. Then it looks like I've got something to add to that bucket list. Make Sawashiro tell us what he knows. Oh, come on. That's work. That's one way to use a bucket list. No, that's not a good way to use Seiryu a bucket list. Seiryu clan HQ is not far from here, right? This is like same old it's Kiryu not, doing Kiryu as things. Of now, no. <laughs> most of their officers are gone, including Sawashiro. They started a branch office about a week ago to accommodate all the new recruits. If you want to pay them a visit, I can take you over there tomorrow. Yeah, that'd be good. A lot happened tonight. I should head back to Kasuga's apartment. Or we could just sing more karaoke. Holy shit. Okay. Oh. Oh. Hmm? Oh. This one's hero sign. Kasuga used to pitch in for him. Hey there. Where are they going with this? Let me introduce myself. Name's Hero, president of part-time Hero. Well, I'll get you a hero, or my name's not Hero. <laughs> uh, Suzuki. I haven't heard of part-time Hero before. It's a service that dispatches heroes across the city to anyone who might be in need. Our heroes, of course, are part-timers who believe in what we do. Time was we deal we dealt with ever, practically everything from bodyguarding to herding cats. We've been a bit short staffed lately. We've pivoted our focus to our part time rescue division. Hi. There's an epidemic out there of normal folks being flagrantly extorted and harassed. We aim to provide them with protection. Any hero who successfully resolves such a situation earns rewards from us. The more you help, the more you're compensated. Suzuki-san, would you be able to register with us? Like I said, we could definitely use more muscle. Ah. Part-time work that helps people in danger. It's a noble way to make money, I suppose. Arigato. I don't need more money, though. Ah, damn it. They're back. All right. So it looks like I can now do drink links. Oh god, that's gonna take forever. Oh Jesus, this is okay, a thing now. And Psycho is also now a thing. Why? Every time I clean my map of bullshit, there's more bullshit that just goes right on it. Why? Welcome. I, f I recently found myself enjoying herbal tea. Ah. If you bring me herbs. So can we chat with uh, my friend here? I have to say, this was such a... I, I was disappointed by this interaction. Just... Mm. Kiryu was so sad. 
Uh, this interaction like killed me. Why? It's, it's sad. Amateur cook. Go. I'll show you how it's done. I don't remember this song. Is it new? Spring breeze. Song he slinging like a butterfly. Whoa. Okay. Hold up. Hold up a minute. Hold the phone. You better be in. We got it. a new song in the house. They went off real hard on that song. What the fuck? <laughs> what was that? <laughs> that was, yeah, that was really hot. <laughs> what the hell did I just witness? Okay, well, <laughs> looks like I'm up. Shit. This one's from seven, right? I'll play it just because I miss it. It's, not, it's better. I don't remember. You better be into it.
my friends. Elizabeth Maxwell Slay. No, seriously, she does a great job. I feel refreshed. All right, Sung Hee singing like a okay. butterfly, though. Well, looks like I'm up. Sign me up. Let's go. Cheer along, or you're all dead. Okay. Y'all better cheer along, or you're dead. Start cheering. So yeah, holy shit, she nailed that. Holy fuck, that around you. Pretty good. All of these so songs so far have sounded good. Genuinely surprised. Looks like I'm up. Now what? Let's give Namba some time. Queen and Wicked King singing. <clears throat> Thank you for the hundred. I'm such a mess. I'm lost. I'm no good at this. I'm an... All right, Namba, it's your time. This one's a real classic. Go, Namba! Got a good voice too. The truth in your eyes. That's how I knew that smile was a lie. Come on! I love you is something you never say. Couldn't get it out, always just pulled away. So then why? Please won't you tell me why? Find the words to say goodbye. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if it's still the chief. I'm lost. I'm no good at this. I'm in love. Still the chief. Still in love. Still in love with you. Hard as I try. I can't even drink this pain away. Poor Nomba. Memories of you. Twisting my view. Hey, hey. I've been a fool. Yeah. <laughs> All right.
And Namba does have a really good voice. Greg is a singer, though. He writes music, too. He got that shit. Felt good. Oh boy. All right, time for some drink links. That's what I think it's time for. Uh, we'll save the best for last, which is Song He. So, <laughs> sorry, Namba, <laughs> but you're going now. Hey, Namba. Mind if I join you? Ah, huh, be my guest. Nobody likes drinking alone. Oh, I'm just curious, son. Didn't we talk about this? I'm sorry you have to look after me. That's what it is. Once a nurse, you know. Besides, if it's any better, Ichiban made me promise to look after you too. Understood. I can stay dry. <laughs> Tonight, oolong tea only. Tea? <laughs> that sounds pretty good, Damn. actually. It's all gone Bartender. downhill. So what was it I heard about you all losing your jobs? Hmm, that's right, huh? Me, Ichiban, and Adachi-san, we all got the axe. Did you know I was homeless for a period of time? Once you hit a certain age, the job market dries up. Somehow I got this gig even with my employment gap. And then, poof, it was gone. What kind of job was it? Quality inspector, a warehouse for medical equipment. Medicine drew you back in after all. <laughs> I don't know. Hard to consider that medicine. Uh, there were a couple of other stints, but it was all day labor or temp work. The inspection job came with a two year contract, and my co workers were decent folks. They actually treated me with a bit of respect for being an old guy. You're a man of good character. I wish my juniors showed me respect. You're a man of good character. You're someone people can rely on. I'm sure they recognize that. A former nurse with the life you've had? That contributes to your character. Ugh, knock it off, Kiryu-san. I want a drinking buddy, not some daily affirmation. <laughs> well, I can sympathize with how hard it is to find a job at our age. Losing it on top of everything else is a real shame. The thing is, if you don't mind me saying, it wasn't just the young guys. There was this girl there. Look at you. You're about to blush. <laughs> Nothing. I mean, you can't blame a man for that, right? She was a little bit careless. She'd make tiny errors here and there. Whenever I'd catch one for her, she'd say, Namba-san, what would I do without you? <laughs> Must have been a pleasant working environment. Hey, I wasn't after anything, okay? <laughs> I understand. <laughs> You don't seem like that type. <laughs> Sheesh. Listen to me. The point is, it might have been a simple job, but it was enough for me. I did good work, and I had good colleagues. That's all a guy really needs, isn't it? Especially a homeless guy. For a fresh start, you couldn't ask for better. And then, they just pulled me aside and said, my contract's up. Don't come back tomorrow. Do they give you a reason? Couldn't be asked to. They don't extend your deal, that's the long and short of it. That's hardly fair. Yep. So, I went back home, and Ichiban was suddenly all over the internet. Oh, boy. Guess I'd made no secret of the fact that I was friends with the hero of Yokohama. Higher-ups must have thought, eh, gotta sweep me under the rug before this shitstorm hits. Kasuga got targeted, and you took a stray one. Of course, I don't hold it against him or anything. Ichiban, Adachi-san, we were all set up. As far as I'm concerned, the three of us will always be in this together. No. The broskies. Let life is hard. Let's drink. You know what? Yeah, life is hard. Let's drink. It's a cruel world, Nanba. I say, let's drink and forget our troubles. Yeah. From oolong tea. <laughs> If you were around, that almost seems possible. Drink enough of anything and you'll drown your sorrow. All this talk about you trying to get things back on track. <laughs> so depressing. I'm sorry you're saddled with me. Come on. You know it's not like that. Ichiban only asked me to see you home from Hawaii. 
It's my decision to stick around and have your back. So no more worrying that you're a burden. I'm the one who's embarrassed here. If you say so. I'm grateful. <laughs> so, how about we finish off with a toast? To knocking back tea. <laughs> I'll sip to that. Give Kiryu real alcohol. Just kidding. Please don't do that. Actually, don't. Let's let's not do that. Oh god, we're gonna be here forever. Let's go. I ain't mad about it though. This is nice and chill. Hey. Hey there, Kiryu. Maybe I'll break it up. I'll like go and do something Mind else after this. Again? Come back later. Happily, but. You know, no alcohol, right? Understood. No alcohol, guys. Bad. No alcohol. You looked lost in thought a moment ago. Eh, maybe. More crap with no easy fix. No simple answers? Well, I'm all ears. You sure? I mean, I don't want to weigh you down. Hmm. You and I are comrades. Nonsense. We're friends. <laughs> Imagine that. Kazuma Kiryu himself is a friend of mine. All right. Sorry in advance. That is quite the rambling. sentence. I wish I could say Out Kazuma Kiryu was my friend. What's eating you? I guess I was thinking. No, remembering's more like it. My last job, my colleagues there had a send off for me. Ah, that was that job inspecting medical equipment? Hey, you remembered. Yeah, that's the one. A whole bunch of them got together, but the mood was dead. Everyone was afraid they'd be next. <sighs> Times are tough out there. Yep. Oh, hey, uh, remember that girl I mentioned? The clumsy one? Of course. You seem to like talking about her. Ah, oh, jeez. I wanted to show you we took a picture together that day. <gasps> we is. get a picture? That's her. Miyabi chan making the peace sign. You know, she cried when I left. Oh. <gasps> Sounds like a sweet girl. She cried. At which point, she wiped the tears away and made sure to tell me we were strictly just friends. Oh. Sweet, but not naive. She started out as a secretary. I swear she could get any man she wanted. Must have been a good environment. Looks that way in the picture. Yeah. They all said they had no idea why the company was letting me go. They didn't know Ichiban's little PR emergency had anything to do with someone like me. So I kept my mouth shut and stayed quiet. It was sad, but at least they paid for my drinks. Okay, so why is it you're thinking back on that day now? Uh, the truth is, I should be out looking for a new job. Can't bring myself to, though. Ichiban and Adachi-san, meanwhile, have had to sacrifice way more than I have in all this. When they've got it worse, it's embarrassing to feel so disheartened. That makes sense? We'll drink until you talk. <laughs> no, be honest with me, You can feel me, disheartened with me. It's not healthy to bottle up your sadness. Once you're at the very bottom, the only way to go is up. kiryu san you're battling a serious illness. How do you still have so much sympathy for others? There's no such thing as an easy life. Everyone has burdens. Mine are far from the heaviest. Goodness gracious. It's profound. <laughs> you got a lot to teach me. Anyway... Um, uh, Ichiban and you have really earned my gratitude. Why do you say that? Well, I was unemployed, with no prospects out there. I think I finally realized that the world goes on just the same, with or without me. And then, when I needed it, Ichiban came calling to me for help. Not only that, I even got to lend my assistance to you, Kiryu-san. Being useful, to me, it feels like... salvation. I get it. In that case, I won't be shy if I ever need anything from here on. Good. I'm here for you.
cute. I wonder how many of them there are. Oh my god, it keeps going, bro. I have to come back another time. These are so long that I have to, like, take them in smaller doses. Oh, boy. Alright, where's the plot? So, we have to go back to Kasuga's apartment. I hate calling him Kasuga. Ichiban's apartment. But, in the meantime... I can do whatever I want because I'm a grown-ass adult, right? Right? Uh, how much did I drink? Give me a smile. Hey, 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 don't go so fast. Now we'll get there eventually. <laughs> this auto cruise is shit. Wee. Hey, there's a school here. <laughs> Makes me miss my old uniform. Oh yeah. When I was a kid, we wore those old high collar ones. Old high collar ones. Oh god. That was a long time ago. Actually, Kiryu-san, I bet you could still pull it off. Yeah, it might be kind of fun to spend a day in uniform again. Not unless you've got a time machine. Let's say we're out of... Oh, my club does a school uniform night. We could always do that. We've even got men's ones, too. You should stop by, Kiryu-san. I guess anything's possible these days. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, psycho. Next. Have you ever tried golf, Kiryu-san? I've tried it. I have, yeah. I've spent plenty of time on the course. We've played quite a bit of golf. Do you play at all? Well, golf's a big talking point with customers in my line of work. I went to a driving range to try it out, but I couldn't get the hang of it. I had a hard time just hitting the ball. <laughs> Got any good tips for that? You just have to get used to it. Even practicing your swing alone can make a huge difference. Oh, so that's why old guys are always swinging their umbrellas around. Uh, let's hope so. Things are going well. What? What the fuck? <laughs> okay, bro. I want miraculously, they were just I my size. I guess you really can win those, huh? I was surprised. Don't ask questions, Chad. Just don't ask questions. I do, but I think I might have used up all my luck. I'm always wearing high heels, though, so sneakers will be a nice change of pace. Huh. Never thought about that before. Oh, it genuinely feels like you can walk just about anywhere. Uh, I do wear a lot of dress shoes. Maybe I should make the change, too. Yeah. Let's all get some sneakers and go out for a stroll sometime. Watch! You'll want to walk from Hokkaido all the way down to Okinawa. If the shoes even make it out of Hokkaido, that is. All right. <laughs> down here we're doing decent message from my marketplace app guess the bidder wants me to lower the price what they trying to haggle yeah it's nothing i'll miss so i can lower it to wait they want half off <laughs> in their dream half you're gonna turn them down yeah i'll be losing money with the shipping costs damn well, businesswoman psycho over fine. here i'll do half off for you no problem yeah and what would I be buying? It's a facial toning device. Right. Things are going facial well. Facial toning device? What does she mean by that? Like, am I too much of a boomer to understand what this means? I think my arms... They're getting bigger. Nothing wrong with that. You've been training lately? No, I don't get to go to the gym too much. Oh, you know, it's the pot. The pot? Yeah. What? You smoke pot? I got this pot? ritzy French cooking pot, and it weighs a ton. It's super durable, too, so I use it practically all the time. So you're not smoking pot. You can only pot. do so much with a pot, though. Is it really that heavy? Eh, about six kilograms. Must be a big pot. All right. <laughs> do you even lift, bro? No, I smoke pot. What are you talking about? I notice it's been... Pretty sunny over here. 
Maybe because of all the rain back in Hawaii. I actually really like the rain. Oh, is that right? That's pretty rare. Rain sucks. Well, to be more Constant accurate, it's not the rain, but the umbrellas. I love stepping out with a fancy umbrella, so I think rainy days are great. I get what you mean. The rain can be nice now and again. I once owned a really fancy umbrella, but it was no match for the typhoon that day. Typhoon? Who goes out during a typhoon? Things are going Kiryu well. does, apparently. Kiryu's dumb, though, so that makes sense. <sighs> Did I miss that? Oh, no. Or, no, there might have been an enemy there, but... Now I'm... I, I, don't, I don't know what my life is like now. Okay. <sighs> Convenience stores always have that great Oden soup smell. What would you say is your favorite part? Ooh, well, there's shirataki noodles, eggs, beef tendon. Hello, Astro. Oh no, did I accidentally? Oh, fuck me. Sorry, Psycho, go on. <sighs> what would you say is your Ooh. I mean, it's all great, but I've really enjoyed cabbage rolls lately. Huh, cabbage rolls. They put those in the soup now? Yeah, the meat goes perfect with the Odin broth. It's the best. That does sound good. Daikon radish was the standard in my day, since it soaked up all the soup. Maybe soaked up cabbage will become the new favorite. All right. Cool, cool. Cabbage rolls. <laughs> Never knew there was a club here. <laughs> Takes me back. Were you ever much of a dancer, Kiryu-san? Kiryu is, Maybe of course, a, a dancer. What about you, Psycho? You dance? Oh, no. The only dancing I've ever done is at school during PE. I don't think I've ever danced at these kinds of places. That right. Well, you're pretty athletic. I'm sure you could disco if you really wanted. Disco? <gasps> oh, Psycho and Wait, disco! I'd Kiryu want to see that. How long has it been since you last danced? Huh? Um... Things are oh my going god, well. Psycho, it's not that boomer. Is Disco really that boomer? No, it ain't. Ooh, an arcade. Fucking Psycho. Indeed. Oh, I haven't been to one in forever. What kind of games do you usually play, Psycho? Hmm. Well, typically fighting games. The girls and regulars at the club love them. I started playing just to be social, but I ended up getting super into it. So if it was a social thing. Did you ever let people win? Nope, I'd wipe the floor with them. Oh. I hate losing on purpose. And that's social? None. All right. <laughs> of course. Of course, Psycho's into that. <sighs> we'll go to this reminisce afterwards since I must have missed that before. I need Let's to get it. back to my boxing gym. You take boxing classes? Yeah, it was originally just part of my diet routine, but it's really a lot of fun and a great stress reliever. My trainer thinks I've got a knack for it, too. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'll back you up if you're ever in a tight spot. <gasps> you know. She's still- Oh, no! Hey, Hamako-san. Well, it is inside. She's back! Look at her! Cash on? My club's doing okay. What about your place? Now, if you're doing okay, then we must be more or less the same. Eh, not much to do during slow hours, you know. Anyway, I see you brought an unfamiliar face with you. I've only recently arrived in town. My name Hi. is Taichi Suzuki. My name is <laughs> Judy. I mean, now. Taichi What's Suzuki. What's with the fake name? Huh? Uh, what fake name? <laughs> Don't play dumb with me. She that thinks it's a fake name? That introduction of yours made it so obvious. Oh, come on. <laughs> Was it really that awkward? Maybe it's better if we just cut the bullshit with her. <laughs> oh, I see how it is. <laughs> Everyone's already in the know. <laughs> Fine, then. I'll play along. Tai Chi Suzuki-san, was it? <laughs> I guess there's no fooling you, Hamako-san. <laughs> Don't take it too hard, sweetheart. Stay in business long enough in this town, and you'll end up just like me. Yeah, I don't know if that's a good thing. 
This is Hamako-san. She's been in Ijincho longer than I have. She's like the underboss of this town. Or perhaps more aptly, a ghost haunting it. Wow. Hmm. So what's the story? You girls I've done ghost haunting for it. a new man? The disrespect. Suzuki-san here helped me and Kasuga out of a bind. He's even more notorious than I am in the underground. Careful not to show disrespect, lest you embarrass yourself. She Enough is such a simp. Keep up that talk and I'd be the one disrespecting Hamako-san. <laughs> oh, looks like we have a real gentleman here. You treat all the ladies this way? Oh, hell yeah, he and does. And how do you know each of them? How should I put this? Uh, the two of us used to work for the same company. Although we never met back then. That is a weird Ichiban way to put it. Really <laughs> <to Suzuki -san. laughs> oh, right. The two of them were in Hawaii until recently, too. Huh. You guys must be real close if you went on vacation together. All right, then, Suzuki-san. Why don't you stay a while? Have some tea with me. Memoirs of a dragon? Wait, what is this? It's special. What? I'm not gonna eat you up or anything. Oh, are you too busy to have one cup of tea with an old hag like me? Let's have a cup of tea. I guess we're All just right. going with Let's this. Let's have that cup of tea. Now we're talking. Head on upstairs. I'll get everything ready. Uh, yeah, I don't know if, to, if I should call this a sub story. Like, it's, uh... I guess it kind of is. Not really, though, but I don't know. Didn't think she'd invite me alone for tea. We just is met. Is this your shop? Sure is. On the outside, we're an eating house. Normally, you'd be serviced by some girls. But if you're looking for that kind of special treatment, come back another time. Of course, I'll have to charge you for that. <laughs> no, I'm fine. We're what society would call a shady business. Remember that politician, Rio Aoki? A few years back, he came to Ijincho. He made this bold claim that Bleach Japan, the MPO, would build shelters. Said that girls who work in places like this, and their families, could live there free of charge and get job training. Sounded like a brilliant idea. Now that's real philanthropy, I thought. He even told me I could be the dorm mother. So I was near ready to sell this place off. Why is this place still standing? Because that shelter was a bald-faced lie. Rio Aoki's true objective was to gain popularity and gather votes by wiping out the gray zones and everyone in it. I made my girls go to a shelter, but it ended up being a mousetrap. <laughs> Lion's Lair, actually. Now they were all arrested and deported. The ones working here now are all new. Hmm. The kind of girls who come work for me don't even have family back home. That's why they stay here in Eugene Show. I was duped all because I was careless. Now I have no idea how any of those poor souls are doing. I see. Sorry to hear it. But it sounds like you have no way of knowing that happened. But the thing is, I should have known. Ichiban and them saw right through Rio Aoki. They even had their suspicions about the shelter. Now they tried to warn me, but I still went and got myself fooled. <laughs> I even yelled at Ichiban, telling him not to doubt Aoki's good intentions. You're not the one at fault, Hamako-san. It's real Aoki. I know that, sure, but... Never got to apologize to Ichiban for yelling at him. Now it's been years since, so I completely botched the timing. And knowing him, he might not even remember that one minor detail. So I wondered, maybe I don't need to apologize. And I never stopped wondering since. Is that why you decided to confide in me? So I could be your messenger? <laughs> Come on. I'm not that shameless. Nah, I just... I just wanted someone to hear me out, I guess. But there's no way I could tell Namba or Saiko. Nah, I don't need them seeing me weak and vulnerable. And you thought I'd be a good confidant? Well, Ichiban respects you, doesn't he? And you were with him until recently. Mm. Anyway, do you say anything about me while you two were off in Hawaii? 
Uh, he might have said it doesn't matter. No. I don't remember him ever bringing it up. Unless I missed something? He might have said it doesn't matter. I think he might have told me he's over it now or something. <laughs> I didn't mean to put you on the spot there. Yeah, I take it he never mentioned me, did he? And again, why would he? I didn't even know Ichiban was overseas. I highly doubt he holds it against you. He's not the kind of guy who'd bear a grudge. True. <laughs> Sorry for taking Very up true. your time on my petty little issues. Oh. I feel bad. Don't worry about it. We all have those nagging doubts in our heads. You're not alone on that. Even if you want to forget, you can't. Because you never got the closure you needed. Closure? Hmm. <laughs> when you get to be my age, you're always gonna have unfinished business. Right. I feel the same way. But recently, some things came up in my life that got me thinking. Tying up all those loose ends made me realize that. Getting closure is for the better. You ought to live and let live. No one lives without regrets. Oh. Mm, hate this. Hate this a lot. Getting closure is for the better. Sometimes getting closure is for the better. It's easy to keep putting things off. Until one day you're told your time's up. Wait, what? Back up. Is, is something wrong with your health? Earlier you said your issues were petty. But that can't be further from the truth. You never know if your time with friends and family might be cut short. So make every moment count. If it's really getting under your skin, then if I were you, I'd just apologize. <laughs> I think I get why you've got Saiko and Sun He waiting on you hand and foot. <laughs> They're doing what? <laughs> Did you really have to put it that way? <laughs> <laughs> well, at any rate, I do feel better after talking to oh, you, Oh, bitch, yes. Now I'm actually looking forward to the next time I see Ichiban. That's so. Glad to hear. Also, the tea was delicious. I should get going now. Here you really begin all Psycho the bitches. Don't anyone about this. You hear? After all, I'm supposed to be some hardened old ghost. I can't have them think I've gone soft. Don't worry. I can keep a secret. Thanks for the tea. And take care. Taichi Suzuki, was it? <laughs> Whoever he was, he must be a great man. The best man, one would argue. What? She goes to Tontoko Island? <laughs> okay, what? That was random. Don Doko a go go. I can't even go to Don Doko Island for fuck's sake. Uh, I need to get. You yeah, but it's really a lot of fun and a and a great stress reliever. Great stress reliever. My trainer thinks Gee. I've got a knack for it too. Hey, that's great. Yeah, I'll back you up if you're ever in a tight spot. You know the old one two. Good to know. I could definitely use it. The good old one, two. Things are going says well. Sayako. Yeah. You've really gotten to know them. Sponsored by Dondoko Island. Dude, she literally takes a, like a plane all the way over to Dondoko Island? That's pretty hardcore, man. bonus points if you use contactless payments contactless i've heard of that but i don't know too much about it you put money into a smartphone app and back. you can do all your shopping with just Battery your phone and you usually get points so it's pretty handy the only problem is not every store takes the same type so i've loaded up eight different brands to be safe huh. 
You sure handy's the right word? All right. Contactless payment. What the fuck is that? What is this science you kids use nowadays? I don't understand. I really need to make a reservation at the salon soon, but I'm What's my wrong? name is Boomer Kiryu. And I sure as hell be a fucking boomer, man. Honestly, I don't know if I want to get the other links right now. I think I'm actually going to go back to plot. You don't want to go? No, it's not that. It's just that it's so expensive. My hair is starting to curl up again, and straightening cost a fortune. Straightening? I didn't think you had curls, Psycho. I do. And getting ready in the morning's really starting to drag. Your hair is pretty straight, Kiryu-san. Ever that? thought about getting a perm? A perm? <laughs> well, maybe if the occasion called for it. <gasps> really? I would mm. love to see your hair blown up like that. <laughs> I, uh, think I've had enough explosions in my life. Uh... Things are going well. <laughs> Kiryu's had quite enough, yes. I've this really is gotten true. to know them. Very, very true. All right. Well, I. Uh, I think before we head to the plot, that should be tomorrow. So I think I'm satisfied with our care today. Lots of uh, unexpected side content that once again decided to show up. But here we are. Maybe tomorrow I'll actually finish Chapter 8. Who fucking knows, man? <laughs> Maybe. But anywho, all right. Curious, thank you guys for watching the stream today. Me and Ichiban used to go to this club all the time. Oh, really? It's got a nice vibe to it, and the hostesses are second to none. You do know they're a rival club, right? Ooh, psycho's oh, psycho's mad. Hey, if you say it's good, then it might just be worth a visit. Huh. Apparently, even women go in here. <laughs> so well, I'm sold. Count me in, guys. <laughs> well, I doubt Sachan wants to come. So <laughs> Sogi is so based. Oh, wait. If everyone's going, I'm going too. Might as well see the competition. Then why don't I up the ante? Drinks are on me. Woohoo! <laughs> then let's go in already. Nothing like free drinks to win such on over. What is happening? Oh my god. Anyway, now I'm leaving. Okay. Uh, Bye, guys. Uh, th thanks for watching the stream today, and I will see you... Uh, see you tomorrow. Okay, bye. <laughs>